You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. Just wearing it, mate. It's a nice jacket. Might as well just wear it. We're just wearing nice clothes. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with wearing nice clothes. Really nice clothes. Just wearing bloody... I'm hearing some a matching fucking two-piece. I really like what you're wearing. And a fresh But I've hat. seen that before. Yeah. We wore that in Vegas. Oh, I know. You haven't seen the hat before, have you? Uh, I've seen it, but I haven't well, seen, seen it, it on you. Yeah. Looks good on you. I know. It's almost like it's a brand new golf brand. It's almost like it's been rebranded. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not saying it has, but it's almost I like fucking just... I, uh, dude, brand. I was literally going through my cupboard today. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck's this? He, like, if he used to stand up, is there a camera shot that would get him? I just wouldn't mind seeing what it... Yeah. If you go to the wide shot, Willie, just I think we might be able to encapsulate. I just, and you can take the mic with you, mate, because obviously, you know, you want to talk through how you're feeling. No, stand up. Don't do that. That's <laughs> awkward. Stand up. Stand up, buddy. Don't... Yeah, it legs are pan it up. Pan it up. There so what go. happens? So you can you just walk me through your morning? So literally... Literally this morning, right? I've opened my cupboard because it was cold. I'm yeah. like, I might fuck. Just stand up with you. I just make you feel fucking yeah, more comfortable. Because yeah. then also you can see what I'm wearing. Not that it's a big deal because you're wearing something that's fucking pretty sick as well. But I was just, I was like, I was, I was cold, right? Mm. It was pretty cold this morning. It was windy and yep. it was cold and I was going to walk the pooch. It is cold. And I thought, fuck, I'm actually cold and I need a jacket. And I opened up my cupboard and this sky blue, super comfortable, sits fits like a dream jacket pops mm. out, and that, it's it's sky blue and dark navy colours I really like. How's it go in the wind? In, in the cold, incredible in the wind, incredible in the cold. Insulates better than anything I've ever worn ever. Full stop. There happens to be a Hello Sport chair on the arm, which I don't know how that got there. Go to YouTube if you don't know what the fuck we're talking it's about. It's also got New South Wales on it. Which oh, these is, political. Well, they, oh, they must be, dude. And then it just says Hello Sport there in this, like, sick patch. Fuck, dude. We I got, don't know. We got it's, political again. And there's uh, there's an internal pocket, which I thought was a nice touch. Really, like a Joey pouch. Like a Joey pouch. And then, obviously, two pockets where you'd expect them i don't know it so just that's the state of new south Wales. yeah it is one, it's it was basically one of those days where i opened my ja- uh my cub and i found the sickest jacket i've ever seen in my life yeah right and, and i'm I, not sure how it got there i wonder if there's any for like other states i don't know i reckon if there was going to be any others it'd probably be for queensland well because they're the biggest sure. state and the, the other biggest the next well biggest. it's because it's just in terms it, of just like population issue well it's more about like looking after our fan base yep you know, and Queensland is, looks after us. We look after Queensland. But, I mean, I don't care much for Queensland state politics. Neither I'm more of a did. New South Wales state yep. politics operator. Uh, fuck you, Chris Minns. But, you know, <laughs> you know, if you're a, if you're an Anastasia guy or girl, mm-hmm. I don't know if she's still doing the damn thing, but you, sure. get it, you know what I'm saying. No, I do. Anyway, I'm going to sit back down, but you uh, just a great jacket, dude. Sorry that we're looking fucking fresh as all fuck today. Fresh as all hell. Yeah. Um... It just sort of happened naturally and accidentally. It actually did. It was very accidental, but I mean, perfect, perfect winter attire, that's for sure. Um, now, some breaking news has just popped across our desk. Um, probably everyone's desk, to be fair. We don't have a desk no. either, but deskless. It's metaphorical, the desk. That makes explain it. Um, but. It seems, Eddie, that Manly, the mighty Manly Seagulls, pride of the peninsula, have uh, told Josh Schuster of six months into an $800,000 a year, four-year contract fame, uh, that he can can go. (sighs) Could you imagine what, you get, what we could get with eight hundred grand? Like, and because mate, the, listen, we aren't getting we aren't getting that money back, mate. Next time, if let's, I'm going to take these reports on face value. Yep, and I'm going to make a request of the club, and you can tell me to go and kick rocks if you want, as they have done in the past. I've been on the receiving end of that sort of statement before, and I'm happy to do it again. But those who don't ask don't receive. Mm. A closed mouth 
will never get fed. That's exactly right. And I'm a Nile crocodile over here, baby. That's a mantra internally. <laughs> Okay. So is uh, so is Pelicans. Yeah. Pelican Pete's. Pelican Pete's. Another, p- another PJ. Another PJ. You don't get it. But if Manly's in the business of handing out 800K a year for four years, that's 3.2 if the math checks, mm. this Noel Crocodile's got his hand up. Mm. You if you want to hand out cash, I'll take it. Oh, you're asking for just some cash. Well, if, if, that, if that's the plan... Let's just yeah. fucking hand money out to no, that's, yeah, and tell sure. them to kick off and, and tell them to fuck off six months in. I'm happy to take unders if you're in the handing of the cash out business because that's what it seems like to me. Yeah, the, the reality is doesn't seem well, that thought through. The reality is, as I sit here looking like a big cuddly chocolate teddy bear, <laughs> uh, more comfortable than any man's ever been. The reality is it's sickening how comfortable you look. That if. No matter where he goes, if he goes anywhere. We're taking it at face value. Taking it at face and value. when you tell someone to look for another club, you're not wanted. No. Assuming that's all true. Could not be true. But let's say it is true. Let's take Danny Widler at his word. That's whom we've it, always trusted. That's whom we've always trusted. It's actually a couple of journo chats today. Um, you take Danny at his word. We want him gone. You bet you fucking you bet every pubic hair on your body that we are paying some of that contract somewhere, if not a lot of it. Like, I can't imagine what a club's going to pay Schuster. Tom, if I <clears throat> who could, if I who was to, if I it? was to receive a call from a manager or a club, so man, either Manly or Schuster's manager, let's um Benji Marshall for argument's sake. Mm. And they go, G'day, mate. How are you, Benj? Great start to the season, mate. Like, good to see you getting a couple of wins on the board. I wish you all the best now. Are you in the are you in the are you in the hunt for a bloody a back row who's got a bit can play a bit of six? You go, eh, maybe or who, who you got? Josh Schuster. Okay. Interesting. Now what do you want for him? Because from where I'm sitting, the fact you're getting rid of a bloke on 800000 a season after six months, six months into a four-year deal, that's an eighth of the way through, if math checks, mm. then I'm not paying top dollar for that. Is there a world, Eddie, where we saw the other day that rumour about Schuster and Lomax, now obviously completely different positions. They don't need to be the same position. They don't need to be the same positions. You're right, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. But is there a world where we just go, like, fuck it, let's do that? But Shane Flanagan said he wants it for a top three player. Schuster's been playing reserve grade. Yeah, that's true. Schuster technically not a top three player, but does he have top three player potential? I think, potential. Again, devil's advocate, DA over here. I'd be going, once upon a time he did but hasn't shown top three pedigree for the last few seasons. Now, I wonder what it is. Like, listen, in our, in my, I just, I just, in my limited dealings with the, 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 the great and powerful Josh Schuster, he's always been a nice guy. Mm. They've been very limited, but always a nice fella. So I hope he's all good, but this screams of, again, face value, Danny Widler advocate, that, he just isn't fucking putting in. Like, I don't think his uh, reserve grade returns have been all that good either. You've got a big, a big strong, strapping lad in Ben Trebojevic who's come in, loves a club, and prepared to do a job. Well, he's Tom? just come in and, and done a job. And done a job. you got blokes like Brad Parker who, by his own admission, isn't a bi- he, he doesn't love playing back row, but he's in the wings prepared to do a job for the club should we Corey need it. Waddell Corey coming Waddell. back into the side and... You know, has done what he needs to do. What are we looking at here, Tobias? So this is Schuster's stats from New South Wales Cup. This okay, year. round two, 80 minutes, uh, 22 kicking metres. One force dropout. Let's like right attack, 22 post contacts, 71 metres. What's What position is he playing? Back row, I'd fucking Second know. row in this one, and then yeah. he played lock for the other three. Um, okay, what about missed tackles? Not many missed tackles. Tackles made, 27, 6, 28, 29. Hard, to get, it, hard to get a read. Yeah. I appreciate you bringing up the stats, Tobler. That's good stuff, but very hard to get a read here. Yeah. Uh, he's lost three of four games. Playing full 80 minutes, yeah, we're not, we're not killing it down there. I... 
The 800, the 800 stings, doesn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ, that stings. We signed it fucking six months ago. You know what it's like? It's like paying top dollar for a house at the top of the market. Then you go through one of the great recessions all time. The fucker's got the, the arsehole ripped out of it. It's, mm. it's paid fuck all. And then someone's died in it. And then I'm trying to sell it. That's what it feels like. Mm. Is that a bad analogy? Well, maybe maybe it's got termites. You get in there and they didn't tell you. Black mold. They didn't tell you it had termites and mold. I'm not saying this is about Schuster. It's just more about the no, general. No, it's a house it's analogy. It's a house, house analogy. analogy. It's a, it's house, a house analogy. analogy. But. Termites. Let's go with termites. Let's go with termites. I think we go with termites. That's a nicer way. That's a much it. nicer house analogy. Yes. Um, you buy a house, top of the market, the seller. And you were you were warned by family and friends at the time you might be paying overs. You might be paying overs and have you done all your DD? That's due diligence. Have you got a have you got a builder's report? Nah, fuck that. I don't believe in builders' nah, reports. No, it's fine. It's gonna take too long. Fuck it. I don't want to pay for it. I want it, it now. I want it now. I want, I want it, now. it now. Could have helped to do some DD. You didn't do DD. And now, not only did you buy at the top of the market, we have one of the great recessions, the great recession. Uh, we got fucking concrete cancer. We got termites. We got fucking black mold. We've got... We've got uh, it all. We've got, a, we've got a bloody possums living in the roof. Now, under that house analogy scenario, do you think you're going to have buyers lined up mm. around the corner, prepared to part way with their hard-earned... That gets you anywhere fucking near. You're gonna need what to take you paid loss. for it. You're gonna need to take a loss here. You, take a loss, Tom. I think that's putting it rather mildly. I think you take a hit. Yeah. On well, this what, one. so what do we reckon? Like another club pay from four max, maximum. G again, th the house has termites, mm, Tom. Mm. Is it, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, what's it called when a house is fucking... Okay, let me ask you a different way. What are you paying for a reserve grader? In a club that's one from four. You're paying 400, are you? You're paying a bit less. Yeah, Jesus Christ. We might get out of this staring down the barrel of, barrel of six a year for the next four years. Six fours. 24. 24. 2.4 2. 4 million. Big ones. Big, thick Australian dollars. Do you know what, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the best back rowers in the game what the are on, like, eights, <sighs> nines. Now, in the words of the great and the powerful Jeff Toovey, there does need to be an investigation. I'm of the opinion, if we're to let him go for massive unders, which we will, Again, taking Danny Widler, who's never told a lie on face value, that the club needs to come out and go, got that one wrong. Like, how the fuck have we got here? Well, they uh, is letting him go an admission of that. Yes. But I want someone to explain how the fuck you give someone... There were, there were, already, there were already warning signs, Tom, and four years, 800 seems absolutely insane who who oversaw that obviously uh like was that still in the fulton years or was that uh was that a fuck you on the way out or was it just um was it just saves and the boys i'll look into it but it was june mid last year i think fulton had been moved on by that point quick question toddler is that toddler on empty i know it's full oh, wow well, okay it's full Tobler wanted us to he, – he, part of him getting the Toblerone packaging that sits on top of his desk is he wanted to remind – or attempt to remind the viewer and the listener that his last name is pronounced Tobler. The problem is – problem with that is that Tobler, which is the correct pronunciation for his last name, and Toblerone don't sound the same. No, they don't. One's way easier to say, Tobler. Which is his last way name. harder. Tobler. It's just a silent protest. Little reminder. Well, no, because everyone knows it's Tobler. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, even my wife calls you Tobler. Yeah, jo uh, Jarch didn't even know that my last name was actually pronounced Tobler. It's not. Because it's not. You're not going to gaslight me into thinking my last name. My daughters, Tommy Tobler. Tommy Tobler. 
Yeah, mate, there's 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 millions of people out there that call you Tommy Tobler, and I think it's through Wade Runs, reminder. I think through Wade Runs, who's convinced more people of your last name, you or us? Comfortably, us. More people know. More people, right? Know that your name's pronounced Tobler on this planet than there are Toblers. Not necessarily. There'd probably be a few Toblers, uh, Toblers getting around. Yeah. So you've even he tricked me. Toblers. Your there fucking you Stockholm syndrome at its finest. There you go. Okay. Just to uh, remind, remind case myself. Closed. Case closed. Remind you myself. Yourself Tobler. Yeah, you, you got himself Tobler. Anyway, we've got bigger fish to fry. Than we, we, last do. Day, we do. We do. Way bigger fish. It um, doesn't say explicitly like who signed him or like who was responsible when did for Fulton the signing. Leave? He definitely lost. He left at the start of last year or last year. Yeah, he looked because then he got fucked off by Benji. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just struggling to understand the length and the breadth of the deal. But they were also like at talking, the time it was shocking, and now what are we five games into the season? They were talking positively about him at the start of the year training. Like he was obviously injured and he got chicken pox and shit. Well, like that's get, no, that's when our alarm bell started to ring. Yeah, but like you can't if you break your finger and you get chicken pox. I'm prepared to be disappointed but not at you like it's unfortunate chicken pox is a thing unfortunately but there was some soft tish ish yes there's soft tish ish but you've just re-signed a guy you already knew he had soft tish ish his soft tish was an ish long ago correct so what i'm trying to say is what you all of a sudden it's soft tish or is this attitude is this attitudinal given the fact he's playing and has played for the last what four weeks in reserve grade 80 mins in some cases i would say it's not a soft tish ish also, because fucking the, we've moved, moved Ben Trebojevic to centres for Ruben Garrick and have not brought him into the side. Corey Waddell into the starting side and then uh, Bullimore in on the bench. See, we, 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 start, we run deeper now than we have for quite a few years. Could also be, I wonder if, I wonder if he's coming pissed off, being like, what the fuck, man? Like here's oh, an opportunity so this for me is, to, So this uh, like uh, this could is, also be him going fucking this play is me. The, this is the nail in the coffin. Yeah, like play me. But having said that, if you've got a bloke on that length and breadth of deal, Tom, you just go shut the fuck up, mate. You're staying. Like telling him that he's free to leave implies to me that there's no want. No, but maybe he's like, I want to go, and they're like, you know what? All right. But if you believe in the footballer, Tom, and the length and breadth of the deal indicates to me that there was belief for this young footballer. Well, there was definitely belief. There was belief there. The first blind rugby league player. To turn, to turn your back on that player or at least allow him to look elsewhere after five rugby league rounds, five, mm. what the fuck's happened? What has happened? Something monumental must have happened combined with a preseason as well. Is there any more news breaking just as where get on Twitter and shit and just have a little look around. Just have a little sniff. I did message someone about it. Um, they have not got back to me. And in fairness, it's the first time I've messaged them in five years. And you didn't message that long ago. No, it's true. Because you'd be on the blower. You'd yeah. be like, this is blower time. Yeah, it is. This is blower territory, isn't it? For that person. Punters and Dribblers, the podcast today, as always, brought to you by the number one multivitamin, getting around. That's good day. Um, time to take, uh, take your nutritional health seriously, Punters and Dribblers. Um, this is good stuff. It's good quality stuff. We're helping people out, men and women. But, Eddie... Let's get another review going for the punters and dribblers. I will. Now, he's taken a photo of the box and the mailer that it goes in, and he's written on it uh, himself, not with his own handwriting, but he's done it digitally. Not made in the back of some cunt's shed. That's an mm. Edward Simpson quote. Yes. Uh, and it's not. It's made by legit people. Never skimp on quality. That's what we believe here at Hello Sport. Now, the reviews are true. I'm on my, my second run of good day. Thank you, bro. And dribblers, the reviews are true. Tried many multivitamins over the years and never thought they really helped. But good day is different. It actually works. Moods are better. More energy. After Afternoons don't hit hard like a homole or a kawatu tackle anymore. Don't doubt this product, P's and D's. Get some good day. India! You'll love it. BeGoodHealth.com.au Use code Dribblers 20% off Like It just It works And just It works Like people do And again as I've, I keep saying this Because we're not trying to get you To change multivitamins If you're already on one that works By all means Stick with them But 
and the multivitamins I've had in the past, tablet form. Tablet form is actually way worse to getting you like the maximum amount of payload as we use in the industry. Uh, we being us because we're in the industry. But that's why the sachet powders is actually so much more effective. And that's why Good Day is the best. Correct. And that's why gummies are a bit of a G-up. Don't get in the payload in there. It's all fucking glucose and sugar, keeping that fucking thing together. There's yeah. nothing good in it. No. If it's not a drink, don't bother. Pretty simple. It's Be not good, good health. Day. It's not good day, Correct. don't bother. Exactly right. Punters and dribbles, we've had an emergency return to the seats here, to the couches, because we've just had word that Jason Demetrio stopped coughing. No, I'm joking, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry dude I was taking the piss He felt I was serious uh, Jason Demetrio May be getting fucking The The, the Rissol For Mal Fucking Meninga As an interim coach Shocking There's a couple of things I want to unpack here Mal Meninga As 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 far as I was concerned And this isn't a disrespect To the player Nor the man that Mal is Huge amount of respect here at Hello We've shaken his hand, shook his hand. And loved every fucking... Well, had our, had our metatarsals broken. Loved every second of it. Massive Mal guy. Massive Mal guy. But I was under the opinion, I was of the belief that Mal couldn't coach. He's way of a wet paper bag. Now, that's... I'm not an X's and O's guy. That's what I hear. They're whispers on the wind. Can I be respectful for a second? Mal Meninga... Canberra legend, Queensland legend, Australian legend, immortal of the game. Eight in a row legend. Eight in a row coach. Can't coach. That's what I thought. I didn't think that was a, an, an offensive thing to and, say. And, and, that's, and, and, and again. I thought that almost spoke to how amazing the feat was. And again, just to double down on this point, Tom and I are not X's and O's people. We hear whispers on the wind and, and unfortunately, we, we, we've got some, we get some whispers for some, for some people that know rugby league, mm. and they all say the same thing. Mao Meninga, an immortal of the game. Mao Meninga, Australian coach, World Cup winner. Mao Meninga, eight in a row, Queensland fame. Can't coach. I've heard, and again, I need, to, I need, to, I need this to be known, that my respect for Mao Meninga couldn't be higher on what he's could, done. No, no, but I know you, and I know when you're bullshitting when you're not. You, you, your respect for Mao couldn't could be Could not higher. be higher in the game of rugby league. I thought that the like the open secret, the thing that was exp like sort of understood was that Mal Meninga, the the greatest, worst coach to ever coach, I would or the greatest coach you couldn't coach to ever coach, people, not the worst, listen, the greatest coach listen, you couldn't coach to ever coach. Listen, if you are like Tom and I, and and you rub shoulders with the elite of the game, and and sometimes you go out for dinners, lunches, brunches, interviews by the pool, you know, like and and you're rubbing shoulders with with heavies, with titans of industry. Mm. Thick neck, stiff hand, rugby league elite. You know, like the, 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 the rhetoric's always the same. And the rhetoric, rhetoric is this, is that Mal's still in that wet paper bag. Mal, literally, I'm in this wet paper he bag. He can't get How out of it. How did I get in here? He can't get out of it. It's so wet in here. How do I get out? He can't get out of it. So here we are. We've gone from Jay, We've gone some, from Wayne Bennett, the greatest coach of all time, to Jason Demetrio Who, of... He, I think sucking off the boys. Uh, of... Big boy sucker fame to a man still stuck in a wet paper bag. That's the that's the path. Now that's the trajectory. We don't know whether any trajectory. of that's correct. Other than Wayne being the greatest coach of all time, the yarn, the critique of Jason Demetrio is that he's too ready to suck off the boys and not ready to give them home truths. Sucking off a metaphor as well. I just want you to know he's not. We're not accusing him of actually like gobbing off the fucking fellas, right? It's a metaphor. Gobbing off the lads. It's a metaphor, it's a metaphor for metaphor. the fact that he's 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 reticent to to critique the fellas. It's a metaphor. Now, it's a metaphor. I tell you what's not a metaphor. Is, is Mal Meninga being stuck in a bag? That, I think, is true. That's like, there's concerns, I think, from his family that he's been stuck in a bag for a while. Let's, let's look at facts. And again, I want this on the public record. And given that this is the public record, a perfect place for me to speak my mind mm. and for it, to be, for it to be on the public record. Mal Meninga's an immortal, and he couldn't have more respect from Tom and I if it was humanly, nor physically, nor spiritually, nor emotionally possible. I love Mal Meninga. There, I said it. 
I love Mal Meninga too. There, I said it's on the public record. I'm a fucking huge Mal Meninga fan. But if we were to excavate facts and try to separate them from fiction, I think what you'd find is that Mal's still stuck in a paper bag mm. and was wide-handed from the Titans and coach replaced without his when he coached Queensland. Say so. When he coached Queensland. Which you could argue, I disagree, but you could argue that the Queensland decade of dominance of the eight straight, whatever it is, the greatest rugby league team ever assembled, I would say it's probably the 2008 Manly Seagulls, but obviously I'm prepared to agree to disagree. But if we just want to say that the the uh, the eight straight Queensland, the greatest team ever assembled, some say, much like the Australian cricket team, as I awkwardly touch your hand. But it's sort of awkward because we're friends. Because we're really friends. We're close friends. Um, that those sorts of sides coach themselves. And that well, Mal, War, but Warney taught us that. Warney taught us that that like John Buchanan can kick rocks because all you did was carry bags. I'm not saying Mal carried bags that side, but there are some like there are some coaches where it's more like tactically don't have it, defensively don't have it. I'm a man manager. I'm a I'm a I'm a manager of men, which is a skill. It's a skill. But that skill, but that skill. Right, the the manage the managing of man, the managing of ego, the managing of a mortal, is is left for a very specific three game a year environment, but or an international environment. We're talking twenty seven rounds, grind city. Back to the wall, mm. from Canberra to Townsville, from the fucking from the fortress of Brookvale to the shit hole of Campbelltown, the fucking media panning your ass every fucking night on three sixty, that grind, and you are employing a wet paper bag operator, it now, just seems interesting. I am prepared to sit here and play devil's advocate because I feel like even though we've acknowledged our respect for Mal, we have also shit on him. But I, I need that to, to, I need that not to be the takeaway. No, no, we're regurgitating what we've been told, we've been told. at movers and shakers, lunches, brunches, interviews by the fool. Yeah, great point. Mal, as we've just said, listen, is he tactically the best coach? Not what we've heard. Is he defensively? Well, let's just say tactically. Is he tactically, tactically? Is he a great coach? Is he tactically a good coach? No. That's what we've heard. But is he a man manager? Now, what does South need, apparently? Have they got, from reports, a couple of men okay. that, okay. that, okay. that okay. just need to be managed okay. a little bit? Okay. Trail apparently okay. needs to be managed. Cody needs okay. to be managed. There's some management well, issues. Well, listen. Maybe he's the right man for the that's job. That's why you come here. Because we will play devil's advocate. We will play both sides of the fence, unlike Cam unlike Camby who rides that shit. He's right. Like he's a, a Sibian. Stuck up his bum. We'll play both sides. And now that I think about it, it makes perfect sense. Mal might Who's be the, right the greatest world. man manager of all time? Mal. Mal Meninga. Who's managed the most, essentially, immortals in one side? Mal Meninga. Mal. The, the, the side that caused Tom and I so much pain, the state so much pain, is the greatest side ever attempt, uh, assembled in the history of humankind, Other of than Homo sapiens. The 2008 Manly. Obviously, but that's assumed knowledge, okay, good. Tom. So now we've got a situation where the, where the great Sam Burgess, okay, of Churchill, Clive Churchill fame. And of Morgmouth fame. Of Morgmouth fame, of... Breaks his fucking eye socket in the first tackle frame of 2014. 14. He comes out saying that the Rabbitohs have an ego problem. I'm speaking off the cuff there. That's not verbatim. And now all of a sudden, out of the woodworks, is Demetrio ready to uh, exit stage left? We have a hole that's been created, mm. a void, if you will, full of big egos. That's what we've been led to believe. Not, not my opinion. Not my opinion. It's a media opinion. And who should come out having been dressed down essentially by the Titans? The greatest man manager of all time, Mal Meninga. Starting to make a lot of sense. Mal man manager Meninga. Starting to make a lot of sense, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, he's not coming in there to coach. They've got assistance for that shit, dude. I would assume he's coming in here to go. Oi, shut the fuck up! Are we, oh, is it? Has this? Has this man got an eye before a C? I don't know what that is. Is so. he an interim coach? 
Oh, bro, no, he's an interim coach. Fucking oath he is. He's not it's coming not, in there for a full timer. It'd be big old. It'd be big male man manager Meninga coming in as mm. the interim coach, telling Latrell and Cody and the rest to shut the fuck up and play and just like play rugby league football. Don't do no, don't fucking elbow people in the head. This is how you. This is how you deal with an ego problem. And then Wayne comes in. If and we're, we're just we're taking this for a walk. We're so walking. Don't, don't masseur me. Don't masseur. Do not masseur us. We are walking here. If you've got an ego problem, the best way to deal with said problem is to bring in a big willy. Who's got a bigger dick than Mal Meninga in the game of rugby league? Just, is there another immortal coaching? Is there any immortal coaching rugby league? Who's I mean, got a bigger, Joey, fatter? Joey's got a stalking problem, so he's out. Well, jo nor, would he, nor would he walk, nor would he talk or walk courts, with the Rabbitohs. Shout out to Louis Collins, who we have cleared. Now, well, as far as we know, we've cleared, but... I mean, Joey, obviously, he's before the courts. He doesn't need, he doesn't need that shit. Matty Mal Johns Meninga, on the public record saying he doesn't want to fuck that one. not an immortal. We've got Mal... No, sorry, you're absolutely right. Mal Meninga. Who, who have we got living immortals right now living? Joey, living and breathing. Wally... Living and breathing. Mal... Wally won't leave Queensland. That's on the public record. Wally also not looking to coach as far Joey, Wally, Mal, I don't know who else after that. I think it's just those three. There'd be a couple. Tobler hasn't checked. Just Bob checked. McCarthy is he? Is he still with? I don't even know if he's an immortal. Obviously, we lost Bob Fulton. R.I.P. Hey, have you? Have you got? You've gone through the the. You've gone through the. Have we only got three immortals alive right now? The last immortal to pass away was Johnny Raper on uh, in 2022. There's only yeah, Johns, Wally Lewis, and Malman. Fuck, still we alive. need to we so, need to fill the coffers a little bit. Well, hang on. So we were we were spot on. I know, but I'm almost sad about that. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, there's only one big Willie left prepared to coach. But if you've and if you can, so like if you're trying to, you know, firstly, and also, also the, the me, we're going again, devil's advocate. We're going off the media's presentation of how this the shit's going down at South. They're saying players like Trell and Cody. It's all it's all sort of you know they well, much like, much they're, like they're, they're not given they're just given cuddles instead of criticism. What you need is a giant. Huge, big, girthy fucking shaft. One that can't be topped, like as in Latrell is already bigger than Jason Demetrio in the game. As much as JD might want to be like, oh, fuck you, do what you're told. Latrell's mm. like, bro, I'm bigger and girthier than you. Can I use a Digimon example? Latrell ain't bigger and girthier than Mal. Can I use a Digimon example? I'd love you to. We talked about Digimon last week. And to go back there again for the second week running, if you had a bigger, thicker Digimon, Take you on a small runty fucker who is less evolved. The big thick Digimon gets the W every time, every time. you join Digimons. Yeah. Every single time. Mm. Every single time. I see a situation whereby big penis Latrell plugs in Demetrio, pounds him every single time. Do you know what I mean? It's just win after win. Just win after win after win. Whereas now that we've got Trell plugging into Mal. Trell plugging into Mal. Mal Meninga of Immortal fame, of eight in a row fame, of World Cup fame, comes in and goes, ah, you lost. Sorry, dude. Ah, you lost. Ah, you lost. Ah, you lost. I'm an immortal. Ah, you lost. Ah, you lost. Four-time like, premiership winner? I don't know. Like, What do you want me to do here? I'm huge and thick and girthy. Shut the fuck up. Back Sit to back. Fuck down. Back to back. He might have had a back 89, to back 90? in as well. 89, 90? 89, 90? back to back in as well. Played with a broken fucking arm, Michael Clark style. How many, like, again, if I, as if I need to reiterate. I actually think it's a, a genius move by South. We need a big that's, but that's the beauty. to but that's shut the, everyone up. That's the beauty of coming to a place where we there's, there's just no bias in the room, you know? We're, we're biased sometimes, but other times we're prepared to sit down and get to the truth. Yeah, we listen, you could argue that maybe as it comes to Manly, sometimes we might skew a little bit Manly and only slightly. But in matters of not Manly... It's you're getting cold hard rugby league fact here, and I'm actually really impressed now as I've had the opportunity to walk. Hundred percent. Also, a couple of things on Mal having met him, huge man, huge, huge, hands. huge. His huge. hands, dude, the biggest hands ever. Put like out, like your hand, then put another hand next to it, and then, and then put then another, another one next to it, and then have it have the grip strength of a fucking of a world's strongest man. On top of Tom. Straight in the eyes, eyes on eyes. Oh fuck yeah! Grip that just won't quit, but not oppressively. 
he wasn't trying to prove anything. It, it wasn't. It wasn't like I'd gone back to the Meningas and I'm trying to date his daughter. He, he wasn't, wasn't trying that. to prove himself. No. He doesn't need to prove himself. No. That's the point. That's why you get him in. That's He's exactly done right. it all. I don't need to show you shit. Sure, could I crush your hand with a single squeeze? Yeah, dude, I'm Mal fucking Meninga, but I won't because I don't need to. So I think having excavated both sides of the fence, we can all agree as one. This might be the greatest fucking signing the South have ever made. Punters and dribblers, we are brought to you by Neds. Eww. They are the best betting platform. Eww. They are our dear friends. And they are big supporters of us here at Hello Sport, at About Even, at Shane Keith Productions. And they got away with a couple on the weekend. They saw Edward Simpson coming and they were shaking in their boots. God, I got close across mm. the board. Almost had an immortal bet with Tommy Turbo just going short on two tries where he didn't score two tries. You know what I mean? Wasn't unders in the Canberra game. Kiko doesn't go over for the dogs. I'm Tigers Jacob Host, fucking... Uh, Jacob Host doesn't score two tries. I know, dude. You were so close in that bet. All know. you needed to happen was to Host to score two, two tries, tries. And he didn't. And he didn't score any. No. That was annoying. Yeah, that was close. Neds would have been like nervous. Oh, dude, that would have been so nervous. Even up to like the 79th minute, there was still a chance that Jacob Host scored two, two tries. tries. Even when he was off the field. I know. There was such a chance that he just scored two tries. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now... The beauty of Ned's punters and dribblers is that, obviously, if you watch about even, you'll see all of our rugby league bets. But we also like to get some bets going, some civilian bets. Um, you can bait, you, if you if you're on Ned's app, you follow the profiles. You can follow our personal profiles. You can go and see absolutely everything we're getting on. You can follow along if you want to, or you can just see them and then you can bring it up to us in the street and tell well, us we're shit at punting. Just ask around. People are making the move over to Ned's and they're loving every minute of it. Loving it. You can also get in our private chat group where we all share bets together. That's the about even chat group, the largest chat group on Ned's that isn't an open one. Uh, the secret passcode is dribblers, so get in there as well. It's just fucking easy. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website. So, my mate Andrew Parsons of complete dog fame sent me a message out of the blue the other day. <laughs> out of the blue. It's a photo of me from 2019 going, barely a grey in sight. You're getting on, Edward. I'm, I'm like, fuck you, mate. But in you, fairness to him. In fairness to him, you fucking... Not a grain sight. Dude, look at that. You've That's like my colour, except like I'm still a little bit greyer than me because I'm not grey at all, but like... There's look not at that. Damn. Damn. And skinnier. Is there a slight little bit on the side of the head yeah, up the top Yeah, it's definitely grey there and some of the beard, but this is five years ago, dude. You've fallen off a fucking cliff. Skinnier. There. Not now. Skinnier now? No. Oh. So not skinnier now. Skinnier there, buddy. So skinnier there, not now. He's definitely. So now not as skinny. Definitely not as skinny now. So Whereas if you looked at a photo of me there. from back then, I'm probably just as so fat. So skinnier there. Not skinnier now. Mm. Mm. Face has changed though, you know. Well, you look older. <laughs> you look like look at the look at the fucking crow's feet you got, dude. Do I have crow's feet? Now. No, not really. I'm looking at him. Listen, we all get older. You know what I mean? <laughs> just saying, dude. It's about it's about being comfortable with it. And I am. It doesn't it was, sound like it. No, I am. It, it was just like it was just it uh, what I what I uh drew umbrage oh, with no. was that it came from the clouds. Yeah, there was definitely no It was Monday yesterday, Monday afternoon as well. And it just felt like a very uh He sent it yesterday. Monday afternoon, he oh, said it. Wow. 2.40 p.m. It just felt like a really oh, sorry, nasty time to send it. Yeah, that is. On you a know, that's the nastiest <laughs> time you can send that sort of thing. Monday Arvo, huge from you, Andrew. Nice pass, though. That's really I good respect stuff. it, but like, and he doesn't have a grey inside the fucker. No, so, he doesn't. You know. He's got a tum. He's got a tum. Had to, but his tum disappears in like two seconds. He can do one sit up and yeah. it's gone. Yeah. He just chooses not to. Yeah. We used to work out in the gym together and he once sent a message going, uh, boys, you won't see him anymore because I've chosen the life of uh, drinks and delectable treats. <laughs> 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 He's not one for movement. Uh, but anyway, fuck you, Andrew. No, that's Check good. out the YouTube if you want to see what I look like five years, just five years ago. Yeah, you also look like, that looks like a photo that someone would be putting on their Hinge profile or some shit, like trying to look cute. I wouldn't dog. date that guy. No. That guy that's, but, fucking lock you up. Yeah, but usually people who try too hard on their dating profiles, like, oh, and this is an assumption because I've never had one, but... Well, neither have I. No, I know. 
But I'm saying that looks like a photo of someone trying desperately to look uh, approachable holding a dog. Yeah. All I'm saying is don't trust that guy. No. I've got a dog. Like, Dang I know me. it's me, but I'm saying, but just if, if people were putting up similar photos, they can't be trusted. No. You didn't put that on a Hinge profile. No, I didn't. That's why I can be trusted. Yeah. No, you can't trust, can't trust the color in your hair, though. Well, you could then. Well, you probably can't, though, right? Like, you, you Well, just, you can't trust what it will become. That's what I mean, right? That's deceptive. Like, you look at my hair from five years ago, the, yep. the shit will not quit. Yep. Hairline either. This thing's coming back. It's fucking growing in, just slowly but surely. No race, mate. No race. Just coming in. You you, you may just notice you may you may you may be able to correlate. Look at that the mustache. growth of Tom's hair with the unfortunate balding photo he took yeah. for the paper. Well, you might you'd notice because I fucking said it. I said, "Watch me come back, son." <laughs> Look, I don't really. That's the worst suit of all time. You've, well, not suit the shoes. No, sorry, the shoes. You used to be daggy. Mm. I still am daggy, dude. I don't think I've changed. No, but you can wear a nice... You wear a nicer suit now. Well, I got a nice suit when I got married. That's for damn sure. You know, like I wouldn't let you leave the house in brown shoes anymore. No, dude. That's a... That was a, a you know, time gone by. That's a brown shoe. Fucking era. foul. No. Anyway. Steph looks good in that photo. She does. Don't, don't like the sunnies though. But they'll probably come back around. Yeah. In fairness to her. Anyway, Tobler, this isn't a go through fucking my wife's photos on my Instagram. Mate, we're just looking way. at your Instagram. Yeah, yeah I look fucking ago. hot as shit in that photo. Are you kidding Where me? Where were we? Besides Edward's gray as fuck now. Josh what, what else? Josh Schuster. Have we got any f more information? Have you done your job? There hasn't been He's anything. looking at photos of my missus, mate. There hasn't been anything else that's come out since okay. the first okay. story. Okay. Maybe we'll park this and if evidence or more information comes to light at the end of the podcast, we can address it then. Can, can we just, while we're here and we're on Manly... I, did, it, did you watch... Do you, do you watch NRL 360? I'll watch it. I don't watch. I didn't watch, watch it. This, it watch I watch it, it. I didn't watch it this week. I watched it last night. I've got a question. I don't know if anyone else is wondering the same thing. Sebo, I don't know if you can hear me. Where's Paul Crawley gone? <laughs> Have they got rid of the cry? I hope not. I hope Too he's emotional. okay. I hope it's nothing health related. But Crawls is up and vanished, and we've been left with, and I say this with the utmost respect. Hoops. We've been left with Bulldog Richie. So Bulldog Richie's replaced Crawls. Well, everyone else is someone I've, I've, I, 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 he's the only new one. Was on Crawl? Me. Was it Crawls on Tuesday night? Yes, but like they've shift around, they move around because Gordy's still on there now. So, so Kenty's come back. Gordy does Monday night with Buzz when it used to be. So they Buzz got rid of Reedy. Reedy. Yep. Reedy now does Tuesday night with yep. maybe a Hoops. So Hoops has been bumped up from Wednesday. I believe so, but it could also be Reedy and like a Carriani, someone like that. Then your Wednesday is Bulldog Richie and fuck, I can't remember who was on last night. But every time Bulldog said something, they were just like, nah. Like they just, and. So he, why get him on? I don't know, dude. I don't know why Bulldog's the next man up, but he was like. Bulldog's the biggest dribbler on the planet. Well, dude, he's the one that came out and shit all over Benji about not being a 24-7 coach for some out-of-context comedy made like fucking six months ago. More than a Wrote week. an article about it. Then the, the Tigers start doing well, and he's like, oh, I'm really happy for Benji. Did he count cunts and shits? He counted and cunts and shits and fucks on the YKTR podcast with Cheese. Then, I don't know if it was a fake... I'm not even going to get into that one. But then he's he's like, he got, he got all up Benji's ass. Then he comes on last night and he's like, and they're like, oh, so what's your bulldog's bite? More like bulldog poo, if you ask me, Edward. And it was in the newspaper today. He was like, oh, man, they might be having their own Adam Reynolds moment. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, Cherry Evans coming to the end of his contract. Uh, they don't know where they want to re-sign him, all this shit. He's on 1.2 million a year. Not true. Mm, incorrect. Incorrect. He, his 10-year contract ended one or two years ago. Mm, longer. And he did not re-sign for that amount of money. Incorrect. He's on less than a million dollars. Do incorrect. your research. Co completely incorrect. And I'm pretty sure it might have even been Reedy last night. I think it was actually Reedy. Reedy like corrected him. And he's like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure it was like 800, like at, at at best. Like, and then they're all going, yeah, but Cherry Evans is. They're like, well, but what what's going to happen? Cherry Evans is getting older. What's you know? What are they going to do? They need to plan. They don't want to have pay him all this money. He's a salary cap. And they're like, they're not paying him all this money. He's fucking 37 years old. Adam Reynolds was 31. Uh, and, or, you know, Cherry Evans is 35, 36. Reynolds is 31, was 31 at the time. Uh, Cherry Evans has already taken a pay cut. He's probably just going to do one-year deals. 
Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It was just like, it was just... Well, is his... Is he his, was an example of just like, oh, I don't have anything to write about. Is, is Brand Bulldog now Mr. Contrarian? Is that... Is that his thing? I don't know. He also said, he also was like, oh, all, is it a Vegas? He's like in his article today, shout out to the Men's Women's Weekly. It was like, oh, is Vegas, is there a hangover for all the Vegas clubs? I'm like, man, these fucking four and two. We, we or beat, three and three we and beat two. Penrith last week. We beat Penrith. Like Hunter. you're going to write that. He's like, but all of the teams are 20 or eight from 20. I'm like, the Roosters, the, bull, the, the, bron the, Bronco, the Broncos have played some good sides. The Broncos had have played fucking, Penrith, and they almost they end the and, storm. and storm away. They've had injuries out the wazoo. The Roosters have had injuries and have had some good wins. It's only the Rabbitohs that stink the joint up, and they were stinging the joint up last year. Problem solved. Yarn over. Again, it's Bulldog playing the contrarian, and on some level, it's highly effective, and it gets the people talking. He's a... He's a water cooler guy, Bulldog. Because yeah, people go, do you fucking listen to this cunt last night? He's off yeah, his head. Yeah. Like, I, part of me respects it. I, listen, I'd have to agree with you, to be honest. On some level, you have to you have to respect it. But respect it in the sense of being like, this is this is not journalism in the sense of like, you're, tits, not, you're not uncovering any news He's tits here. on page three. Yeah, he is. He's big boobies. He's big boobies, he's dude. Big boobies or Calvin Klein bulge. Yeah, hundred percent. He's a bulge. He's a he's a he's a bulge. He's a breast. Yeah, that's bulldog. Hundred percent. Photoshopped as well. Fucking oath, photoshopped. But he, you can't help but look. Well, he's like man, man. He's Adam Reynolds moment. I. If you can, if if anyone in the world can be bothered, and I imagine if you haven't read it, you can't. He the 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 amount of times he repeated himself, where it's like, you know, you can you get old quick, it can all fall apart. I'm like, you're fucking. I don't even know how you submit this shit and it gets in the paper. <laughs> but I did read it from start to finish. Well, listen, as we well know, print and the media in gen in general, old school traditional media struggling. They probably don't have any room, any budget for editors, Tom. You reckon there's no, like, just let's put through a spell check and just go, done. Fuck it. That's what I reckon. I can't, I, I can't know for sure. No. But that's my opinion. Just, 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 just leave Manly alone. You know what I mean? I do. Now, on Rugby League, this uh, was in punters and, and dribblers. Referee Todd Smith, not, re, not scheduled for round six. The NRL insists decision not related to... The cooler try. Yeah. I look, I well, doubt that. But but it was, right? Well, it surely <laughs> Yeah. But it obviously like one hundred percent was. I'm also sending you an article here, Top of you to get up. Um A lot of people out there in the comments on punters and dribblers really getting fucking fired up. In regards to that what cooler. was clearly a knockback, going, yeah. you can't of bias. I, I felt like we didn't need to reiterate this yeah. after Tom spoke about it for five minutes. Yeah. Yes. The home of unqualified opinion. What does that mean? If you don't know what it means, use a thesaurus, use a dictionary, look it up. Unqualified means we have no idea what we're talking about. Unwavering bias. What does that mean? Means we're biased to the fucking end, Correct. to the bitter end, or the glorious end. Whatever, the doesn't end. matter. The end. It That's why it was a knockback. That's why, and also because it was a knockback. Of course, it was. It was an. It's a knockback, anyway. It's a knockback, no matter which way you look at it. But it was a knockback, and there are many reasons why. One, because we are biased. Two, because it went back. Three, Graham honestly agree with this. So fucking jam it. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> he sort of agreed with us. Oh, that's what they call the fucking yeah. Three strikes, yeah, you're out, loser. The, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off, losers. Um, the NRL's reporting has just been rotated as part of the normal weekly turnover. Oh, there you uh, go. There you go. Nothing to Friday. see here. Nothing to see. Move Nothing along. To see just been rotated. Shuffle along. And he's now, while he's been Sunday. rotated, you can rotate on this. It's it like when we used to rotate. And if and if you're sitting there going, "Oh, when do we rotate?" We used to rotate the quartet. That's mm. the Test cricket quartet. Nathan Lyon, Stark, Hazelwood, and Captain Cummins. We used to rotate those fuckers. Even the best get rotated. Yep. Except the best don't anymore because we choose not to. Because we're pretty. But they used to. But they used to. 
They did get rotated though, and that's all that's happening for Todd Smith, which is in terms of like a name. Unfortunate. Well, I don't. I wasn't going to say that. Well, no. I mean, I tell you what. I think it's unfortunate. <laughs> Is because it's probably the most forgettable name of all. That's time. more what I was thinking. It's just well, very. You, know, you want to be sort of remember, uh, memorable, memorable, rememberable, memorable. Yeah, you do, bro. Toddy, Todd Smith. Even if it was Toddy Smith, Todd Smith, forgettable. Toddy Smith. T o d i e. No, it's Toddy. Well, it's not, but that looks too much like Toddy. I think T o d d y. No, Toad would be an A. No, I know that's what I'm saying. It's not, but it reminds me of Toad. Well, I'm saying you want to stand out for the Fish. crowd. You want to stand out for the crowd. What if he does change his name to Toadie? And like in Die Another Day, James Bond, go to a Cuban medical facility and get your face changed to look like Toadie off just get, neighbors, or just get Toadie's fucking uh like early 2000s you didn't like my die another day idea no i loved it i think that <laughs> i don't i wouldn't mind seeing just with toady's hair because yeah. i think that'd raise some suspicions if toadfish rebecca's getting around blowing the whistle <laughs> um where is toadfish at uh, i think i think neighbors no more do you know what neighbors is okay right What's the theme song for that? Can we sing it? Neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. With a little understanding. You can find the perfect man. Neighbours. We'll be there for one another. That's when good neighbours become. Good friends. It's very, it's very uh, generalizing as well because some neighbors do not become good friends. Well, there would not be an current affair if neighbors were all mates. We're all mates. No, nah. show's over. Nah, fuck yeah. Here we go. Two neighbors getting on like a house on fire. Imagine Tracy Grimshaw. No, Tracy Grimshaw. She would be poor and fucked if it wasn't for neighbors. Punching sticking them up. She's now retired. You're fucking true. I have more fridge, mate. Oi, fucking wait. You're, this is actually my backyard. Like, you know, by two millimetres, the fucking plans are a little bit off. <laughs> so dribbly, so good. Greatest headline I ever saw was a, uh, on a current affair specifically, was a house that was over, the house that is overtaken by mould. And now I have had a mould issue in a former house, so I get it. But at the time I hadn't. And they had had to retreat to one bedroom of this fucking like five bedroom house because they couldn't get rid of the mold. The whole family's like, the house is heaps moldy. You get the fuck out. You leave the house. Yeah. Now, I mean, maybe that's easier said than done. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a that's a problem I'm I'm not jealous of. Tom, hold on. Can you please get this? The I see the link. Did you get that? Yep. So the P's and D's are fucking moving, uh, are making headlines again. Now. I'm annoyed in, in much the same way that, like, um, that Poon from Channel 9 didn't quote us when he stole our Brett Lee yarn. What's his name again? Oh, that fucker. Richard Mike Dalton. Daltz. Now, um, yep. there was a post in the P's and D's from some dribbler. Reese Walsh got his fingernails painted. And then some dribbler's like, oh, yeah, this only happens in Queensland, mate. Tough guys. Yeah. And then he just got roasted, basically. He's like, he's got daughters, or he's got a daughter. He's fucking, you know, whatever. Like, relax. Um, and This th only happens in Queensland? Well, that was like, I guess what the... Can you just get it up? So he said, Reese Walsh of painted fingernails fame, dot, 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 only in Queensland. Yeah. Like, shaking my head. Shaking imagine. my head. Can you get the article up on there? Yeah, it's struggling. Um, and then that has, obviously, again, we've got rats in the P's and D's who then go and write articles about it. I'm not mad at it. I am mad that they don't quote the punters and dribblers Facebook page. That pisses me off. Because at the very least, you know, they just said like on some social media page. Can you... Are we having problems? Yeah. Fuck this TV. Listen, how hard is it to just go as seen here? As seen on the greatest page of all, them all. We shared that, to a fan forum on social media. Fan forum. It's not a fan forum. I mean, think, it could, I, I kind give of it, is, no, no, but no, it's no. not. No, no, no. I'll give, it, I'll give it a hot tip. It's not a fan forum. No, it's not. It's a community. It's a community. You're right. 
It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's a lifestyle choice. Put it this way, fan forum dickhead. There's 45,000 punters and jubblers in there who use Facebook for one reason and one reason only, and that's the P's and D's. That's the only reason I use it. What's, what's uh, Fan forum. Where are we at here, Tobler? Let's turn it off and turn it back on. Turn the TV off. See, I, I just, I just don't on. understand how hard it is to... Wait, is there a... Is Even there a, fucking Buzz Rothfield shit Is there a, a vendetta out there against us? Where people just... They refuse. I can only assume out of jealousy not to quote us. Buzzy Roth at least shared a photo, I believe. Buzz Rothfield's made of the right stuff, though, Tom. Come on the podcast, please, Buzz. Yes, he's he's a red-cheeked... Uh, Old school fucking mayo dripping contrarian himself, but at least he has the wherewithal, the stones, the respect. Well, he's a, but he's also a news hound. Buzz Rothfield comes out with stories. To quote, he doesn't come out with like random, you know, Dean Ritchie articles, which are like, oh, I reckon Manly might be entering their fucking Adam Reynolds era. And it's like, no. We're going to Trent Robertson pl- video play on top of Yeah. Yeah, it's probably an automatic. Probably the automatic. That might be where you're, you're struggling. It's like an autoplay, and it's fucking you up. It's uh, it's 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 infuriating. But what was funniest to me about the article was when they were quoting punters and dribblers' responses to this guy, and just seeing seeing the dribbly terminology escape the confines of the city walls. Particularly if you're quoting as as coming from a fan forum, that's what I mean. Where it's like, oh, so like they say, so let's say the guy who left the, um, thank Christ, I was gonna fucking lose it. Um, go up. That's just a oh, screenshot. Is that, is that f- is of, a screenshot. Yeah, of okay. them quoting the. Um, so so Walsh also shared photos of his two year old daughter painting nails together. So that was obviously why his nails were painted. Um, also, called, you can paint them anyway. Of course. I painted my nails with my daughters recently. Um, but so then someone leaves a comment. Uh, could be because he has a young daughter. Play on if your little one wants to, uh, their nails painted. One fan replied. The second one said, I don't see an issue other than needing some infills, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> infills being when you, they grow out and then you need yeah, to fill yeah, it in at the yeah, base. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out my- to my missus for the knowledge. You can be masculine and still do shit like this, FYI. A third added, only in Queensland do dads learn to appreciate and foster creativity with their daughters. Um, where's the other one of something? Fragile like, masculinity, lol. It's just nail polish, bra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe if New South Wales painted their nails, actually win fonts. There was one where it was like, um, uh, where it was like of something fame. That was, I think, in the caption. No, there was someone who left a comment in it, I think. Maybe not. What was the... Ca- Reese Walsh of Painted Fingernails fame, dot, 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 only in Queensland. And then can you see if someone responded to that with another comment? Maybe they didn't. For some reason, I thought they But that might have been on the post as opposed to the article. No, I thought I read it in the article. Right. But it could have just been the the, uh, the caption. Yeah, that's the only mention of, of fame in the article. You just... You love to see it. And listen, the real ones know. The P's and D's know. But these motherfuckers... Was it Who just wrote a staff the article? Writer? Was it yeah. a staff writer? Yeah, staff writer. Unfortunately, the punters and drillers is dripping with rats, mm. and I don't know of a way to successfully. You can't help it. It is an. It's a. It's. It is what it is, right? It's like in Game of Thrones. Like they're just you know like varies. They're all these little fuckers that whisper. Like that's just what happens. It makes the world go round. How do you find out about anything without a few birdies tweeting? You can't and. I don't think I should be expected, personally, after a big and glorious weekend in Byron to vet everyone. No. Well, you've never done it. So why would you start now? I do it during the week, <laughs> but not on the weekends. So if you want to, if you, if you're a, if you're a birdie that likes to tweet, that's probably the time to get in. Listen, it's very easy to get over the city walls. Let's just put it that way. It's uh, <laughs> they're filled with oh, holes. The only ones I knocked back with it was uh, with groups. You know, like Daily Telegraph Sport tried to get. In. I'm like, nah. Oh, really? No yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Two days ago, I'm like, nah. Daily Telegraph Sport, just come in as your personal profile, you rats. Come on, that's fine. 
Daily Telegraph Sport tried to try to sneak in the front door. <laughs> That's I actually. I'm like, that. listen, I fuck up a lot. Yeah. In terms of guarding this joint, but not today, bro. Yeah. And he falls asleep at the city wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like walking time. on the weekends, yeah, but you yeah. come in Monday morning, I'm fresh, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Had a good day. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. Yeah. Weekends though, you can walk straight the fuck in, dude. You're all good. <laughs> come on in and bring your mates. Uh, bring your bots. Bring your bots. Well. Bring your bots, exactly right. In other news that mm. took, uh, you know, a guy who's who's who loves space, right? That's me. Yep. This took my eye. Obviously, in North America, uh, there was a total eclipse. Of the heart? Solar eclipse. Oh, fuck. Sorry, dude. Total solar eclipse yesterday or the day before. Tobler, I want you to get up when the next Sydney eclipse is, just so we can get prepared. I think it's like in the 30s, maybe, but I could be wrong. Give us some time to get prepared. 2028. 20. <sighs> Close. You know what'll happen? It'll be overcast as fuck. It always is, dude. Anytime yeah. there's something happening, it's always fucking overcast. How many? How many? How many? How often does does one come around in in a, in Australia? In Sydney specifically. Probably every couple of years in the world, but I want Sydney. Bryce Mitchell. Oh, uh, yeah. UFC fighter, Bryce. UFC fighter. Thug light, Nasty. Right? One of the biggest dribblers on the planet. Flat Earther. Listen to this. This was a post on Twitter from him yesterday. Earth is flat. There is no eclipse. They're testing their blackout systems right in front of you, sheeps. Sheeps. Plural. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, they're blackout systems. That bloke's been watching too much uh, Who Killed Mr. Burns on on The Simpsons. I mean, he seems like he might have had a couple of concussions, you know what I mean? Like over the course of the lifetime. You think that's a concussion tweet? I don't know. I mean, there's also like, he's he. you listen to Bryce speak, he's not dripping with... Uh, Intelligence. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. That's what I'd say. He's a blunt object. Can fight. Respect him. Not talking about fighting here. We're talking about his penchant for conspiracy theories. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I almost think his shit does a disservice to conspiracy theories. Because it's just like batshit But he's out there crazy. pushing them. No, what I mean is like... <laughs> There's like conspiracy theories and there's Bryce Mitchell conspiracy theories, like where it's just like some that's just the dumbest shit ever. Like Flat Earth isn't sometimes I feel like even saying Flat Earth is a conspiracy theory is like the dumbest thing in the well, world. Well, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's just sort of like stupid as it's, shit. It's just it's, it's like good. fantasy. It can't be a conspiracy theory if you one thousand percent know the answer. Yeah. That, that's not a conspiracy no, theory. No, that's conspiracy. So who shot like, JFK? There you go. Conspiracy theory. Yes. We know the Earth's round. There, there's a million ways of testing it. Mm. A million ways. So that's why it's like, you know, you're, not, you're almost not a conspiracy. And even if it's simulated as a globe, it's still simulated a globe. Yes. Fucking, oh, the, 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 uh, the eclipse is them, te them testing their blackout technology. Whatever the fuck that means. But so how can you predict when they're going to test it, Bryce? Why do you reckon everyone bought every fucking Airbnb in that line through America to see it? Oh, is that what happened, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not the whole of the United no, States. No, I know. What's the thing about the glasses they got to wear? You can't look at the sun, mate. It burns the fuck out of your eyes. Sure, dude, but I've looked at the sun before. And it but you can't look. Right. You can't stare at it. You can look. You go, uh -uh. Like, think if you go outside and stare at the sun, what, two seconds? That's I it. could stare at the sun for five seconds. But you can't watch the moon fucking coming across of it and move. You can't do that. You can't stare at the sun, mate. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm trying to work out is, is that literally all those glasses are for? So you don't they're burn like your world, eyes the They're sun. like welding glasses. Right. But like, you, why couldn't you just wear sunnies? Because sunnies are... So there must be something more about the you eclipse. Can't, so. You can't stare at the sun with sunnies yeah, on. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. No, yes, you, can't. you can't. No, you can't. Do it then. Okay, I'll do it. And but do it for minutes at a time. I guarantee you can't. How long does the eclipse take to happen? A couple of minutes. From like from from the moment it hits it to the to it crosses, it'd be probably five minutes. Toads, can you please grab us some more techie, please, dog? 
So they're like 100,000 times darker than regular sunglasses. You can't just stare at the sun, Tom. I know you can't just stare at but the you, sun. But you're trying to tell me that you can. No, I didn't say that. I said, why do you need those when can you not just wear sunglasses? You can't stare at the sun with sunnies on either. You can stare no, at you the can't. sun with sunnies on. I'm not saying you can stare at it for fucking hours. I'm asking how long this shit takes. I'm trying to get to the bottom of why these I special want, I, glasses I are wanna, necessary. I want to, you know, I... I almost feel like tomorrow if it's sunny, we go outside, you put your sunnies on, you stare at the sun and see how long you last. But that's what I'm asking. Though. It won't be five minutes. I'm not saying it will be five minutes. Well, how long are you going to be? I it'll don't be, know how fucking long it'll be. It'll, I'm be, asking, five, it'll be five seconds. I'm asking, Why do they wear the glasses? I'm asking that question <laughs> myself. I'm saying how long does a fucking eclipse take to happen? Between three and four minutes. Okay, I said five, pretty much. Right, close so three and four minutes? You couldn't just be like, "Hey, I'll look at the eclipse for a bit. I'll look away." Why look wouldn't you? Why, but why wouldn't? But why wouldn't you across? want to watch the whole thing? Because it's pretty fucking similar, right? For four minutes, like I don't have, like I don't look at anything. Tom, eclipses minutes. are rare as shit, bro. right? Dude, why wouldn't so you, you want to soak that up? You look up and you go, "Wow, this is looking pretty crazy." You look back, fuck, this thing's still looking pretty hectic. Fix me eyes up, bang! Like what I'm just trying to work out is, can I still see the eclipse with a? Nice that's pair of fucking sunnies. You know what? You know what that? You know what that sounds like? You know what that sounds like? Your technique of like staring at the sun, burning them, and then taking down to reset them, staring back at the sun, burning them, and resetting them. That sounds like a bloke who thought that uh, headphones headphones with a cord were better than wireless. That's that. What? That's what a, a late. That's fucking not the same thing at all. Would do. Yes, same, it is. No, it's not. He's he's a way better option. Put these sunnies on and watch the whole I time. No, I'd rather burn that. my eyes. What I was asking was what what are these glasses that they sell are they necessary what do they do and then you, i was saying like when the eclipse is going across is there something more hectic about it that makes it more dangerous for your eyes you're saying nah it's just so that you don't burn your eyes looking at the sun which obviously i know you can't stare at the sun then i'm saying why can't you just wear sunnies sun glasses glasses to shield from the sun and then you you're don't saying, stare at the sun with sunglasses i don't on. know how long the fucking eclipse takes if it's like a couple if it's like a minute i think you can do it now, I if, said, I'd already said it was five minutes. You didn't fucking know either. You're wrong by two minutes. Three to four is not wrong by two he minutes. He said three. It was one minute off. Well, like one minute off. So you could be wrong by a fifth. You could be wrong by fucking twenty five percent. You said you'd rather fucking twenty percent, forty percent. You could have been forty percent wrong. That's almost fifty percent incorrect. Forty percent wrong. Well, as in, if you said five minutes, it said three to four, so it could be three minutes, right? It's so you could be sorry, three you could be to a four. four. So it's four, we're taking the four. Well, but well, of course, because that helps you, but I'm taking the three. No, we're taking the four. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, we're taking the three. All I'm saying is, why I, the fuck... You, I'm you, happy you to wear the glasses, you, dude. You implied at the start... I'm happy to wear them. the tapes. You said at the start, you can walk outside with sunglasses on and stare at the sun. That's what you said. Yeah, and we didn't, we didn't and agree. And we can test it right fucking now if agree, you want. We didn't agree on a time. Bro, you can't stare at the sun for longer than five seconds with anything on, unless you've got the hardcore job. See, I don't know. I don't know. I'm prepared to say I don't know, but I think you can stare at them for longer than you're saying. Why is everyone wearing them then? That's what I'm trying to work out. If sunglasses but work I didn't know so how long, effectively. But I didn't know how long it was taking. I didn't know how long a fucking eclipse takes to get into its work. Who the I fuck? told you five minutes. But you were, you were wrong there. I well, was pretty fucking close. Well, you were, but you could have also been two minutes off, so I don't know. I don't know. It wouldn't change anything unless it's five, unless it's in the seconds. You know, I don't sunnies. know this, dude. I'm coming here in the fucking best all trackies agree. of all time. I think the puns and dribblers. I don't know. I think you're, I think you, I think you're, you're getting a bit silly. No, dude, not at all. Not you're risking silly. permanent eye damage. Yeah. See, that's what I'm trying to, to work defend out. a point. I'm not, bro, you don't see me staring at the fucking sun. I'm not defending a point. What I was trying to work out was how long's an eclipse take? Is an eclipse quick? Is it long? Is it fucking 20 minutes to fucking go across? No one's staring at the sun for 20 minutes. In anything but superhuman 3D goggles, whatever they are. I get that. I don't know how long it takes. Now we do. Oh, the old world's glasses. Yeah, it's like a polyester film coated in aluminium to block infrared and ultraviolet lights and stuff. There you go. I've never seen an eclipse. No, neither. Oh, no, I don't think I have. There was one in 2001 in Sydney. 2001 in Sydney? I wasn't in Sydney. That was the last one in Sydney. And I, you fine? I was also not in Sydney. I don't know if I've seen an eclipse or not. You wouldn't have. Is there one where the... So that was where the moon goes across the sun. There's a lunar eclipse. 
where the where that the, I think I may have seen somewhere. They happen more frequently. The lunar, I think I saw the, one of those maybe in Greece. The lunar eclipse is usually like a red outline of the moon. Dude, I did. I saw one in Greece. It was fucking hectic. Yeah. So that's the that's the sun, earth, moon, as opposed to sun, moon, earth. Yeah. So the earth is getting in the wait. The sun, earth in the middle. So sun, earth. Moon is a lunar eclipse. And that's where just the moon has like a red fucking thing. Correct. Yeah, that's what I saw. And then there is a solar eclipse a lot rarer, which is sun, moon, earth. Yep. 2028. What time? What time? Chuck's that ice, bro. Do we need to know the time for 2028? I'd, I'd like to know the time. Get prepared. That's yeah. how my brain works. Yep. I'd like to know the time. I'm not against it. I'm just... I'm. I was merely pointing out that well, it's... So it'll begin at 12.40pm, and... Oh, it says ends around 3.14pm. What time? So it, what, what, what day is that? That's on Saturday, um, July 22nd, 2008. July 22nd, okay. Uh, what year? What Chinese in the Chinese New Year? Like, what, what year is that? Just want to get prepared. <laughs> That'll be the year of the monkey. Great. You love monkeys. I do love monkeys, dude. Dude. Fuck. That's so We're epic. having a fucking solar eclipse party. Yeah, yeah. Know bro. that. But that's 2028. Yeah, it's only four years away. No, I know. I'm saying I'm fucking there, dude. You're the monkey. You You're the me. monkey, dude. Come on, big ice cube. Get in there. Love fun. that. Get working. All right, where are we at? We're, you're the monkey, dude. We're in 2028 right now. I love that shit. I really do. Eclipses. Lunar or solar, but mainly solar. I've never seen one. I. What's the most impressive celestial thing you've ever seen? Personally? To leave the club immediately. It's immediate. It's like, get the fuck out. This is JoJo shit. Get out right, right now. now. It's the, the end, end of you and, and me. me. It's, it's too, too late. late. And I, I can't, can't wait, wait for you to be gone. Because I know. About her, and, and I, I wonder know. how I bought all the lies. You, you say, say that, that you could, could treat me back, right, but that, that was just, just a waste, waste of time. A waste, waste of time. time. We fucked up a little bit there. No, but, but that know. was pretty good, dude. Acapella like that, that was pretty good. You can't nail that perfect. Immediately. Get out right, right now. now. It's the end of you and me. <laughs> it's too late. And I, I can't, can't wait, wait for you to be gone. gone. For you to be gone. Because I know. And I wonder <laughs> how I bought all, all the lies. You say that you could treat me right. But it was just a waste of time. Waste, waste of time. <laughs> dude, fucking amazing. Shout out to JoJo. Yeah, dude. JoJo's so sick. Yeah. You know JoJo S codes? Do you know anything? <laughs> <laughs> what is it you know? <laughs> Besides, like, an incredible uh, ability to design graphically... And to make sandwiches. That's it. She you you don't. You have, you've never it. watched a, a good movie. You don't know JoJo. Uh, you've never seen Titanic. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know, that's tough. Live stream tonight. We've got uh, the great and powerful Justin Scope Horror and artiste extraordinaire Jordan Simi coming in. I'd like him to paint me. Like one of his French girls? Yeah. Yeah. That feels like it'd be right. The Scope and Simi used to do some pretty fucking good content back in the day, and I don't know if they've been reunited since those great days. Is this the first? Is this? I think it's the first. Is this a reunification? Yeah. Like when East and West Germany came back together? Yeah, yeah, I think so. To create Germany? Yep. Berlin Wall sort of stuff? Berlin Wall sort of stuff. <laughs> so this is a historic moment? Yeah, it is. Fucking oath. Fucking oath. Rooster's Nights. Just a reminder. It just came to my brain. Um... We've also got the Hacker Major tomorrow, dude. It's all fucking happening. It's a busy weekend. Also, we got it's the all, stream for UFC on Sunday. It's yes. all coming up, Tom and Eddie. Yep. Also, I, I probably haven't... Well, I don't think we've doubled down on that. We are doing a stream Sunday, probably from... 11. 11 a.m. Hello, Sport YouTube. It does look hot and sunny, so there shouldn't be any issues re-internet. It also looks hot and sunny tonight, so no into, uh, issues re internet. Come and join us. We're going to have a lovely time. Mm. Love your time Thursday. Love your time Sunday. Sunday, Street and Josh. Thursday, Scope and Simi. We are brought to you by the biggest and best rose in the goddamn country. That is Big Day Rose, and we've got the competition that is running as a celebration of the fact that you can get Big Day Rose at Shorty's Golf Course. It's the only place you can get it outside of hellosport.shop. But. 
For anyone who buys a case or a six-pack of Big Day Rosé in the month of April, we're picking two of you motherfuckers, two winners, to play with Eddie and I. Separate days, you and three of your mates. So pick one winner from over here, pick another winner from over here. This guy can get three of his mates, and this guy can get three of his mates, or her mates. And what happens? We'll play golf, we'll get on the piss, we'll have a feed, we'll have a giggle, we'll have a yarn, we'll pick you up in a limo, but only if you're on the way. And if you're not on the way, we'll pick you up from check, check a points. checkpoint. And it's going to be a lot of fucking fun. We'll sit in the back of the limo, we'll drink Fanta, it'll be hilarious. That is Hellasport. Hellasport.shop, month of April, it will be drawn in the start of May. Hellasport.shop. So... Don't you reckon WWF was also better when the fucking crowd had flash cameras? So when they were going for their finishing moves, the crowd would just go absolutely fucking bonkers. Yeah, that's why I'm just looking at a bit of a highlight. Looking at some highlights of The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels uh, in a WrestleMania. Oh, that's Dude, sick. some of the shit The Undertaker did as a fucking seven-foot man was just insane. Yeah, you mean, you mean the uh, old school. Dude, yeah. that that we didn't see any of that shit the other night. No, that's the uh, that's that's the pedigree. No, that's the pedigree. Tombstones when you'd flip them up and your head's just hanging perfectly down. We didn't see any of that shit the other. No, night. dude, like that's what I mean. Everyone's watching the most recent WrestleMania, being like, "Oh, it's so good." I'm like, "It's okay, dude," but like you're not seeing any real crazy shit. I didn't think it was that good. No. Like. And I've never watched it, right? So I'm probably not the greatest yard. No, you're not. Because like you're not in. You're not like you're not into it from the from what the excitement was. From it. Were you allowed to watch shows as a kid, or were you, you strike me as a kid who like wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons and shit? We didn't. We couldn't. We couldn't watch wrestling. No, but I'm saying like like how would I've watched it? You, well, you could watch it on free to air TV back in the day. Um, could you Monday Night Raw late night? No, it used to be on free to air late night Monday Night Raw. And the videotapes you could rent from the from Video Easy. Yeah, nah. But no, I, what I mean is you strike me as potentially, and I love your parents, but potentially like... A sheltered kid. Well, yeah, like a kid who wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons, you know what I mean, like during the week, or like, you know, not allowed to watch like naughty TV. We watched The Simpsons, 6pm, uh, every night of the week on Channel 10. Okay, so you were allowed to watch it? I was, yeah. I wasn't already. <laughs> huh? Could I even wow. see? He goes, could you uh, even I'd see it? I'd had surgery by then, <laughs> dickhead. Way to shit on a fucking blind six-year-old <laughs> blind kid. <laughs> Fuck. His eyes were all wonky. Where have you been, Cody? <laughs> Cody. You fucking pay attention. I don't know whether Cody actually listened to this show before he fucking got the job. Seriously. Uh, oh, I love the show. I'd love to come work with you. He doesn't know anything. No. No, nah, Eddie's eyes were like perpetually spinning like fucking. So when I was two, they started to turn is the term in the yeah. industry. And I would have to put on eye patches every night to try and strengthen the eye while I watched Home and Away with my mum. It didn't work, and then they both started turning, and then I was like all over the place. And, and they'd make like, a funny, yeah, they'd make a funny noise. They'd go, "Wee, wee, wee." <laughs> well, maybe I don't remember. <laughs> they could have. Uh, they turned pretty badly, bro. Yeah, strabismus. Huh? Is that the condition? No, nah. turning eyes, man. <laughs> That's too technical. Yeah, that's... Uh, and right. then I needed to go and see Dr. Chang. That wasn't his name, but that's what I refer to him as. It's what my memory refers to him as. In What's orange. That? Just, I always thought it was Dr. Chang until... I even said at my wedding his name was Dr. Chang. And my mum the other day was like, it wasn't Dr. Chang. It was an, it was a, it was an Asian sounding name, oh, but it wasn't Dr. Shit. Chang. That's racist. No, but it was like similar. It was just like a small fuck up. Yeah, right. It wasn't fucking... Dr. Gordon, you know. No, well, that's more what I mean is the fact that it's just it was an Asian gentleman, and you're just like, oh, it's probably Chang. No, no, that's how I remembered it okay. as Chang. Okay, so it's an innocent mistake from a six year old whose eyes are all over the show. Well, I thought, I, mate, I thought your name was G Jerry, and it's fucking Gary. Like, who gives a shit? Pretty similar. Okay, fair. And a phenomenal eye doctor, Tom. Yeah. Phenomenal eye doctor. Mm -hmm. Incredible. One of the best. Still doing the damn Is thing. It? Yes. Still saving lives. I'd love to. We'd love to go and see him. Would that be emotional if you got to go see him again? Probably, yeah. Probably see him for the first time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him at the time, that's for sure. Uh, had to stay overnight at Orange Base Hospital. Dad slept on the floor. You know, had to get wheeled in. I was I was in year one. I'm underage. I was, what, five? Were you nervous? 
would have been shitting myself, bro. Took my teddy in. He wore a little hair net as, hair net as well. Like, oh, right there, dude. Know? See, having kids, I think if you, like, I, I, you know, right now as adult Eddie, I'll pay you out. But, like, I do feel sorry for younger Eddie. Little like, loser Eddie, dude. Yeah, little loser Eddie. I'm talking boots and, and, and flap hats, mate. Yeah. And big Harry Potter glasses. I look like... The fucking nerdiest kid ever. Now, mum thought I looked cute, but I look no. You did ridiculous. look cute though. You did look cute, but like wearing him as Parent an adult. Parent cute though. Wearing him as an adult would have been fucking a big day. But like, so do you remember him like wheeling around? No, the place? so no, no, no. So not Dubbo Private Hospital. He's at Orange, and he goes out there a couple of times a month. So that's not not Derek Chan. Ah, uh, okay. Henry. Lewis? I understand that you've got De- Dr. Derek Chang ophthalmology. That's on him. Angelo Sirabus. Anyway. Just go turning eye surgery, Orange Base Hospital. Let's see if I recognise his name now that mum told me it recently. I do remember watching Land Before Time. I didn't Track. watch it. I heard it. <laughs> so you after fully couldn't surgery, watch after it? After surgery. Oh, right. After surgery. And ate, and ate jam sandwiches. Made by your old man? What I don't remember, and it's annoying because I was so young, but I don't remember if my eyes started turning, could I not see anything? That's what I'm asking. That's what I know is that they're just like, is everything just fucking wheeling That's, around? Seriously, I don't know. I don't know. I still see double a lot if I've if I'd, if I've had a couple. Oh, really? Yeah. Like like immediately? Like I, I see double of shit. I mean, I see double if I'm fucked up. That's not a... Like I could I can make myself... I can see double a toddler now if I make myself... But you can't go cross-eyed. Can't go cross-eyed there. At all. I can see Because it's like, a muscle issue. It's a muscle like issue. Like, if I go cross-eyed, do I look cross-eyed now? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm seeing double now. But like, this is me cross-eyed. Yeah, his eyes can't do it. It's one of the best things ever. They just stop going in. They're sort of going in. Keep going in, though. Oh, you know what? You can't, but, like, you can go pretty well. Kong Chan? No. Dudley Pro... No, there's Orange. Tang. There's a couple of different ones in Kong Chan Tang. Dr. Tang, he looks a bit Maybe older. Maybe Dr. Tang. Let me see if mum messes me. They enjoying themselves? Loving it. Mum and dad are in fucking Europe and just frothing. The boys said before they left, they were like as high as kites because they left their bags here. Yeah, they came into the studio. Came into the studio. Dr. Tang doesn't come in my messages. <laughs> they came into the studio to drop their bags off because this how parent how parental is this? I don't. I haven't asked them this, but I would say, in an effort not to miss their international flight, they flew from Dubbo to Sydney. So the international flight left at quarter to ten. They arrived in Sydney on their flight from Dubbo at eleven thirty a.m. Get here early. There's flights all day. Your old man said it was the only flight that was available to get in because we asked him why he came so <laughs> yeah. early. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't, mate. <laughs> You, listen, mate, you don't want to sit on your hands and feet all day out in Dubbo, like, just excited. Also, something goes wrong, a flight gets delayed. No, no. Get to the city, post up at a bar and get flogged with Which your is wife. what he did. He went to Manly. They had a great di- lunch. They came and got... I respect the fuck out of that, but let's not pretend like it was the only flight all day. That's no, all I'm saying. No, no, that's a rugby If you were just honest about it and go, we, want, we were rich and we want to get down early, that's great. That was that's a rugby fine. league lie. <laughs> Straight up and down. And where are they currently in the world? They're in London. With my with sister. sister. Yeah. They're sending cute photos. They've sent some photos. Love They've it. sent some photos. My sister is surprising them at the airport and shit. You oh, can't really? really see it's a bit grainy, which is annoying. Nah, oh, well, you know, you get it. You know, good stuff. Parents on parents on tour, parents overseas, like parents get to an age, especially when you're at our age. Like when well, you're I showed your, you, I showed your dad with the safety with the, the safety, safety, yeah, the safety clip of his backpack. That was the cutest thing. It's unbelievable. Parents on tour is now like the cutest shit ever. When you're in your twenties and your parents are maybe like in their fifties and sixties and shit, you're like not that cute. But like when they're you, empty nesters now. That, that's it. It's actually not specifically about the age. It's about the, the where they're just it's the, the, the nest, stage. It's, not it's the, the nesting. Age. It's the nesting phase or like stage. Steph, my mother-in-law, Steph's mom, was just in Japan, and like we're getting photos of her next to cherry blossom trees and shit. And you're like, just just the way they stand. You're like fucking just cute, like old people. Well, it's a reset, right? So, like, they're like so excited. Well, you think about it. You, you, when you're a child or a baby, you, you need people to you change your nappies and you can't feed yourself. That's where we end up, all of us, most of us, right? If we're not taken too early, you end up there, getting your ass wiped by a stranger. But you know, before that, there is, or like after being a baby, there's you know, there's the first trip overseas and you're giddy and you get photos in front of the sun. That's where. You, that's where you go. You head back to that. Yeah, you do. You report back. You head to, back to that. 
Like my parents are going on, God bless them, they're going on a, a bus tour around Europe, you know, and it's going to be like old people, the average age 55, 60, they're going to be hanging out, it's exactly getting pissed every in night, Japan. you know, making new friends, like that's Kentucky shit, but older. Yeah. It's old people can take Young old people can take They're all going. They're they're all fucking old people. Can oh, tiki. Young people can take his blackout, drunk every night, orgies, yeah. fucking just hostels. Yeah, just fucking drugs. the house down. I don't know what old people can take his. I think I'd it's rather probably, not think about. Well, it. I think it's probably still getting pissed. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Yeah, you're you know, in his orgies. I don't know about that. I don't think you want to go too deep into that for your own sake. No, um, but <laughs> I'd, yeah, no, no, you know. But I think it's more like. It's more like uh, going to like uh, gift shops and like you know landmarks. Like, oh look at this, this rug was from eighteen oh six. It's trinkets. Trinkets city, dude. It's caftans. Trinkets, caftans. It's uh, it's like wallets. It's it's beautiful artisanal wallets. Yeah, it is. Look, oh, but look at the quality. Oh, this is an Italian made wallet. It's Segway tours around Rome. Correct art. You and know, like sculptures. Old castles. Gardens, like impressive gardens. Yes. Look at the in barrel tulip time was yep. barrel. That was yeah, dude. tulip time it's got going to, all the oldies fucking moister than It's going rooster. exactly. It's going down to Mossvale to see the, the nits around the trees, little jumpers for yeah. them, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, if you wanted to see some old people fapping, you'd go down to fucking Corbett Gardens, was it? Will I can't remember during tulip time and it was old people just oh, Getting after it. If you if you were to guess where you might start to show signs of aging from a just from a lifestyle perspective, yeah. like a hobby perspective, what do you what do you muse it might be? Lawn bowls. Lawn bowls. And I love lawn bowls now, but like get me out, get but you're me not doing a bit, but you don't like strangers. No, but it'd be me and the boys lawn bowling. You join a lawn bowls club and you fucking I don't not like strangers. I just can't. I don't like. You don't like. You don't like strangers. I don't like forced, awkward interactions. Yeah, I know. Right. I, I know so you that's well. Where, but like, if you go to like a lawn bowl thing, like that's your but own. That's, but that's with the boys. Yeah, that's more. But that's my aging thing. It's like me and the boys. We start lawn bowling. But I, well, I, I'm. That's not enough for me because we already long bowl from time to time. Yeah, but I'm not joining a fucking team, and I'm not getting. Well, my that's fucking what I, that's what I, that's, on. that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about I'm talking about old people shit about my no, parents. I'm, I'm, I'm having my own about, bag dedicated no, to my bowl. I'm talking dude. about my parents doing old people Kentucky. Okay. I'm talking about them having the passport while it's strapped to them. I'm talking about the safety strap on my dad's bag. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Okay. Old people shit. Well, you're going to play lawn bowls with your mates to get fucked up. No, 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 but it, it, no. Because it's not just to go and get fucked up, but it's like we go and join a team. And we start, but, well, of course it would, but that's like part of it. The sensible shoes. <laughs> sensible shoes is when I think I'm getting old. <laughs> Cause like you've got you, you love a my shoes. Shoe guy, I dude. love my shoes, right, Later Sebo. Oh, I like mate. I like shoes generally. Like I like sh cool, sh like I like shoes that I like. You know what I mean? You like I like, you like shoes. You like hip shoes, whatever, whatever term you want to put in them. But like at some point, just good honest hawkers is where it'll start to get. You know what I mean? My Asics fucking Gel Keanu thirties. Like you start seeing me rocking them with shorts and pants and shit. You know yeah. I'm getting sensible. I tell you, I tell you, this is an old person. This is more giving up as a, as a phase of giving up in and just completely ceding all control to your missus. Is when you no longer buy your own clothes. Yeah, dude, exactly. That that too. Has that happened to any of you, of our of your mates? No, no, no. Too early. In the Fucking going. way too early. But I dad, wouldn't put dad, it past. Dad hasn't. Dad wouldn't. Have, outside of, um, maybe buying his own trainers like running shoes or his own. He he. Yeah, remember, I think we all know if you're a hardcore listener that he bought a weight belt and shit so he could lift big. He's got the flat shoes so he can deadlift and shit. Outside is of he, that, does he deadlift in like a zoot? What's he deadlifting in? Like an Olympic zoot? No. No. <laughs> No, I no, see no. him in the fucking home gym just sort of grunting it out. Mate, if he had if he had the fucking if he had the weights, he'd be zooted up one thousand percent. I don't think he'd carry him I don't think he'd he'd be comfortable rather going down to the gym he goes to in Oh, Dallas this isn't like suit. a personal home thing. No, okay, no, no, right. No. Yeah, yeah. But outside of flat shoes and a and a weightlifting belt, the old boy hasn't bought himself a piece of clothing in thirty years. I also how, how old would they be? I hope they don't mind me asking. <laughs> 
Dad is sixty seven. In his sixties, sixty seven. So, year. so you reckon since he was thirty seven, he he hasn't been buying his own clothes earlier than that? Fucking hell, dude! Mate, he had he had me when he was thirty three. I don't reckon he was buying his own clothes. Eh? No See, way. See, like, there's something freeing about not buying your own clothes, but I don't want that. Like, I like to. I hate shopping, but I like buying my own shit. Now, Steph has a good eye for things, so she can sometimes, like, find something good, but she'll never just go out and buy it. She'll be like, dear, what do you reckon? Well, so that's where I'm getting to. Is that is that my old man being my old man? But I, I know a lot of my parents are definitely, or, like, parents' friends are definitely not dress themselves. My old man was a... I come from a family yeah, where but he's a different. man buys your old man, Your old man's different. Dad buys flared pants for himself, you know what I mean? Like, he's got a fucking ponytail, right? Like, yeah. he's a... He's a your TTC guy, like he's a bit of a different cat, right? So another PJ. Another so PJ I can I don't think he's a great example. He's also one of the goat Australians. Not that my dad isn't, but when you're a well-known entertainer like your old man is, maybe you do need to buy your own clothes. It's not that you necessarily I mean? have to, but there's certainly maybe like a general uh, mindset or a general. Um, you know, character trait where it's like you do. If your you're own the thing. if you're the number one selling artist, I don't know if you'd get Annabelle to buy your clothes necessarily. No, now listen, Annabelle, God love her, and God does love her. She she's got a bad purchase in her. <laughs> Willie's nodding his head. She got me a t shirt with a dinosaur on it for Christmas. For Christ's sake, this year. <laughs> well, no, last year, not long enough away. She's actually got another shirt coming for you, dude. I saw it the other day. She's like, "What do you want? What do you think of this?" I'm like, "Love it." It's not bad, like it's not bad, but sometimes she can. She'll come back from, she come back from holidays sometimes. Mum, block your ears with like great stuff. But then remember those leather jackets she came back. From Dude, she got me a white leather jacket with <laughs> my name printed in gold on the inside. She's like, I thought you'd love it. Oh, it's like something out of Greece. And but they weren't even like cool like motorbike leather jackets. They're all rough. They were like smooth, perfectly unsullied leather. Like she got me a black one. I wore it to the oak once and got my asshole absolutely <laughs> ripped apart by the boys. And I never ever wore it again. I was like, you know, sometimes I mean, maybe you don't, but I like where you've got something, whether it's been given to you or whether you've like got something for yourself, and you're like. I don't know about this thing. There's a part of me that really likes yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. There's a part of me that is yeah. fucking uncomfortable with it. Yeah. You then give it a go and the the fears you had were fucking realised immediately. And you go, right, okay, fuck that. Never wearing it again. Fuck, that was the leather jacket from mum. I'm looking at it going, I'm not a this smooth guy. one? Smooth, dude. Dude, leather jackets, are, you got to be hot. You got to be so hot, dude. Or you have to be so confident that you don't give a rat's ass. But, like, even it's not going to stop Hamish Street from fucking absolutely burying you. You know what I mean? You can yeah. be confident as you want. Street, he says he's in a le smooth leather. Hey, good luck. He's going to fucking it open good, it's you good, up. Dude. It's good night, nurse. Yeah. It? It's good night, nurse. Yeah. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is what's the sign of you getting old? That's I, I see. That's what I I don't know what it's gonna be, but I know there'll be one. And then I'm also like, hey, or is it one of those things where I'm already old and I'm doing shit that I don't even know? You're 34, 33. You're not old, but old compared to 20. Well, of course, you know what? You're old but compared I, to four. Like, you no, know, you're not. You're not crawling. So for example, yeah, you're for, old. For example, I, I'll give an example of what one it definitely is. There is, if you're 21, there would be an opinion out there that people when they're 30 do marathons and, go to, and, go, to, and, go, to, and go to bed early and get up early and shit. Like that's a, that's something that's we do now. That's just true, dude. Yes, you go to bed earlier because you've got shit to do. At 21, if you're going to bed early and running marathons, you're a fucking loser. At 21, you should be staying up late and fucking ripping and tearing. That's what you should be doing. But at 33, th like, if I'm 35 in a couple of months and I'm staying out fucking late and I'm fucking, like, and I'm just not doing anything, yeah. like, that's not cool. I've got, I've thought of one that I reckon I'll be doing for sure. I reckon I'll be in the garden, tending. <sighs> Lawn. Lawns, dude. I'll be a huge lawn guy, yeah. and I'll be I'll be tending to my to my garden, and that's a good one. It will not be like this. Oh, dude, we can't. Me. I mean, I don't know what we got. The amount of advice we get now, there is a about our. About but you know what? But, but I've never I've never gone. I'm going to take this one. I didn't think I needed to. 
No, well, because we fucking entrusted it with Tobler. If he was, if we were really like performance managing that this guy over here, this fucking cool haircut, and kid, all of them, and all of them, all of them. But we've look, listen, we've tasked Tobler with at least overseeing it. He can delegate all he wants. Yes, but he's in and, charge, and, I, and he does clearly. Um, I've <laughs> yeah, never seen not. plants worse looked after. This is the third. Listen, you or fourth. Listen, the guy's second in charge, and he can delegate all he wants. And still, I sit behind misery. I yeah. sit in front of misery, rather. We I sit tried, in front of misery. Uh, Some, there's an old saying. Oh, I've been giving them fertilizer and leaving them water. Nah, bro, I don't think you have. I think you're lying. We might even just set up a camera. No, we, we, we tried you, there's to an transplant. Old, hey, there's, there's an, an old, urgent transplant. There's an old saying. There's an old saying. If you want a job done properly, do it yourself. I didn't think we'd be here. No, neither. I didn't Not think after this the is, third. I didn't think this is where we'd get to. Mine's mine not looking great, but it's looking better than yours. I'm going to buy two new ones. We can use that for guests. And I'm going to fucking show you how it's done. Oh, you're going to do it. Really? You're taking control. Fucking oath. It's, too, it's, it's enough. Enough's enough. I thought we were going... I garden for the late, great Vander Simpson for fucking 10 years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'll be interested to see. Okay. And what's the punishment? How, okay, well, hold on. No, let's start this. Let's, how, let's get some terms. Right. From, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How long do you think we've had these for? You'd be able to... Obviously, you'd be able to check... Huh? Got him at the start of the year. So when Cody started, two and a half months. How do you know it was when you started? Was it your first week, Cody? So were you here? Well, when no, they no. Came I'll in? tell you what we do. We just check the tapes. That's what I'll we'll get saying. a specific date. But he's saying, do you remember them coming in? Okay, so literally, it's bef it's after he started. Well, when I got back from overseas, were you here? Were you here already? Yes. Yep. So then, that's when I got him. That's when I got him when I got back. Are you going to buy these exact same ones? I'm going to get ferns from fucking Flower Power around the corner, obviously. Now, the go if you can keep them all, like, thriving... We haven't had one last more than two and a half months, no. ever. So the goal is, though, that you've got to keep them thriving for more than the time that that guy has. And the punishment if I can, If I can keep them going for three months, both of them, I win. And he's got to, what, shave his head to the skin? Oh no! <laughs> Fuck no! My lead the hair out of it. I reckon at this point, I'll do it. <laughs> well, yeah, you're bald, mate. Yeah. That doesn't count. No, it's your hair so what do you? What do you? What well, are we doing? Well, no, so three months, and they've got to look like how, like this. Very similar. They've got to look better than that. That better than that. That one's dying as well. Yeah, better than that. That's the. That's the. The better than this one. Better we, than that one. And we can take some photos. Yep. We. We. Yep. We will take some videos. So what? So what's, so what's the punishment? And then proposed, what's the punishment? Man? This is the palm. This is the palm punishment. Yeah. Okay, that'll be around. So it's got till origin three. So what do you reckon? The palm bet. Shit. What are you prepared to put up? Or do we fucking just throw it out to the like? Let's throw it out to the dribbler and see what they think, and we can come back and. But and if I lose, what does we get? Let's throw that out there as well. I tell you what, if you can keep if it, if after three months the two. Palms are better than looking than that one. I'll get a tattoo of a palm on my leg. And if I lose, then you get I one. will get my hair jet black. Oh, yeah. And your beard. And your <laughs> and beard. My beard. Yep. And your beard. And my beard. So yeah. you got yeah, yeah. yeah. so to grow, grow out your Full beard. Wash. And no, 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 no. I'm not going to. No, I'll just get it done with this. No, no, but like, it's fine. In, yeah, yeah. But that's, that's, no, this is okay. fine. We've got a fully rinse. I don't want to grow my beard. I can't be fucked. Just like this is fine. Well, it's easy. No, rinse the hair in this. Rinse in the hair. Yeah. Rinse that. I'm just trying to work out if he. Secretly wants a rinse. That's my only thing. Is we were like, talking oh, about no. it the other day in the car, <laughs> saying it'd be I hilarious. Yeah. You know what I mean? I say, oh, I want a rinse. Man. Okay, if I lose, jet like, black. Die my like me dye my jet hair blue black. to go bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm only going jet black, by the way. Shout out to Tim Dumbrell, who they were in Thailand. He was like, I'm going to go get a haircut. And he's, he's, Pepper and salt. He's like fucking sixty. He came back jet black, and the girls were like, "What the fuck, Tim? What the fuck yeah. have you done?" Yeah. Like, I want to go to the curious. Like, no, in, it's got to be yeah. like fully, fully black. Like the Rudy Giuliani Dripping melting there, off yeah. his face. I like, like that. I think that's good. And the palm. He's got another. Is it another leg tat, or is that like? No, you get a palm. palm he's going to get a tattoo tattoo palm, palm on his tree. leg. On his leg. Yeah. yeah okay. A so dead, what? A what is? Palm. Is it three months? Three months. Bang. To well, we'll work out the exact date. We'll work out the exact date from of when purchased. you buy them, like from the, when you. Well, buy I got them, back. I got on. back in February, and it's April tenth. 
So one, yeah, it's not even. It's two months. Basically, you've kept them alive for. So three months is overs. Yeah, the Tom's one doesn't look too bad. You're no, look, yeah, mate, let's... it doesn't. I said both. No, Did I, I not? I, I said know. both. Yeah. That's that fuck. thing is fucking disgraceful. Yeah, it's horrible. That's been the worst one so far. But we've got plenty of plants. So it's not three months. Here. It's two and a half two months. Two and a bit. Two and a half months. Okay. Two and a bit. So, oh, actually, so let's when- do, let's do, no, let's do the weeks because that thing was fucked two weeks ago. So I got back, my first day at work was the uh, 29th, my birthday. But you didn't get them then. I got them that week. Let's say I got them the 31st. I'll check the receipts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. I was doing eight weeks because so two, two weeks months. ago, that was fucked. Two months. Yeah. That's fair. Well, that's that's fair. fair. And we decide on the design of the palm. Yeah, that's yeah. I'll give you that. I'm not convinced. And if it's and it. I'll go and if I lose, I'll go into Mr. Man's. And, and how go, do you? How long do you keep it for? Two weeks. A month. A month. No. Two weeks. A month. Two weeks. Two weeks. And then fair. what? You Three wash weeks. It out or you two weeks. Shave your head. Three weeks is good. Three two weeks. weeks. Three. Three's good. Three's in between. And then you can shave three's your hair. Three's in get between. It. That's good. Bleached, whatever. Three weeks. Three right. weeks. We'll three no, weeks. I'll just shave it off. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. And that's seven day weeks, not work weeks. So that's uh, 21 days. Perfect. Uh, yes, 21 days. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> um, all right. That's luck, the deal. Sir. Shake. Good luck. Shake. I want you to succeed. Shake. Shake. All shake. Right. Shake. There we go. But I just don't believe it can be done. Yeah, that's okay. Let's do some dribbles and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Have you seen that photo? What is it? How fucked oh, is that his eyes. Kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, nice. The bowl <laughs> you had the Harry Potter scar in there. But that's cuteness, though, dude. That's cuteness. It's googly-eyed cuteness. That's not even the real fucking glasses, though. Like, What do you mean? They're the glasses. No, but you had some thickies. There's another photo of you with some serious thickies, like, like Pope-mobile bulletproof glass. Yeah, I think you're right. No, nah, there is. Oh, this- but... No, nah, there is. Like, that's, the, uh, listen, I know that's a, God, you just, the, how much you've changed from that sweet kid to this fucking obnoxious cunt I know now. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked. <laughs> what a drama. But the, that's but so the fucking, the glasses, though, the thick glasses, there's another one of you with glasses that are just, you know, impenetrable. I also, Cody, worth you knowing this. I did win uh, Hottest Baby under two competition in Dubbo. Hottest, uh, was it yeah, Hottest man. Baby? Was like <laughs> hottest ba- most fuckable baby under two in the Dubbo show. Uh, you make it sound a bit pedophilic. No, it was uh, Cutest Baby. <laughs> cutest Baby, did you? Mm-hmm. With the Googs? I don't know if I was Googing then, dude. Have you seen me at two sitting on the Merino wool? Don't know. Have yeah. you seen me? No, I don't think so. Have you got it? <laughs> Oh, really? Was it Hottest Baby? Was Not that, hot, but like... Well, you said Hottest Baby. Well, yeah, hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, I'll get that up for another app. Yeah. Uh, Tubby, you get into it. Thomas, Edward, Dio Tobler, and Mr. Topag. Hope you're all well. Topag's starting to get a run. a bit of food for thought. Mm. Uh, bit of a FIFA bloke myself. Obviously, uh, back in the day, you could play with the Icon team. On kickoff, where you just have fuck off Pele and Maradona just running circles around everyone. Um, also, just a bit of food for thought. I know that a lot of Premier League teams like Liverpool, Man United would play a Legends game. Could we see a Rugby League Legends game happen, I guess, either at the end of the season or at the start of the season? Now, I know the two sports are a bit different physically. Obviously, you'll see some old cunts in the Rugby League Legends team get absolutely melted. But I'd really like to see that. I don't know about you. But, um, yeah. Anyway, ta-da. Mate, you won't say it's too physical. No. Nah. Sport's too physical. They blokes, still do them. Yeah, but blokes aren't signing up for that sort of treatment. They tried to Accidents do one. Accidents happen, mate. They did one, I swear, they did one at the end of last year. I don't know if it was like even maybe a sevens tournament. They did one in the Goldie last year. Greg Bird ruptured his Achilles. 
Isn't that? You know what I mean, mate, mate, like, mate. Like, what was the yarn? It was, it was it your yarn where there's dads line up for the hundred meter sprint. One blows out his fucking. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that was again. They weren't former rugby league players. That was like no, but in my primary school where it was a bunch of like dads, and it was like the dads hundred meter race. And all these dads who Yeah, give but a fuck. even still, a lot of rugby league players aren't fighting fit anymore. No, no, I know, but there's like there you, you, there's still some form of like a, you know, I guess athletic muscle memory that's that hangs around. But the <laughs> at the uh, at the primary school hundred meter dash with all the dads, our dad was like, You can get fucked if you think I'm running. Some guy, some but there was a lot of dads in like moleskins and sensible jumpers, like with their collars popping out, who were like, I can still run. You're like, no, dude. And the guy who did do it, he's like, oh, I was a fullback at school. And then he explodes his Achilles. And you're like, bad decision. Uh, yeah, you were a fullback 40 years ago. 40 mate. years ago, bro. Relax. You know what I mean? Like, I used to shit myself and get someone to change my fucking diaper. Mm. Like, doesn't mean you could get away with it now. Bro. No, you can't get away with it now. I did shit myself only last year. But uh, yeah, I do understand the, the, the reference. Um, I don't think you'll see. They do the Legends games. They still do them. I don't think the NRL wants to put too much of a of a. Like, I'd say this emphasis I'd, on it. I'd say this. This has been a podcast full of WWE rhetoric, and it was always it was because we watched WrestleMania Monday morning. About even was also filled with WWE WrestleMania forty. Like, the Undertaker looked like pure shit. He was wearing hockers. He looked beaten to fuck. John Cena looked like he was he had he'd been railed only. On the way out, he was waddling like it was so he was, he's, Yeah, he looked it like was, he was ginger. He was ginger. It was yeah. like a man had been towed up. He he also, you know there's the comb over where you grow your hair out on one side and flip it over. He had the comb over from the front. It was like he'd grown it out and was slicking it back for his ball patch. I'm like, he was so self-conscious about that ball patch the whole fight. I'm like, why don't you just wear a hat, dude? It's where you fucking Kept hat. putting it back. It was really fucking weird, to be honest. I didn't vibe it. It's sometimes you just got to say goodbye to the old timers. Question, question, a balding question. Want to reiterate to the dribblers out there who are balding, it's all good to go bald. Don't worry. Don't wig out. It happens. Now, obviously, that might come as uh, very empty, uh, empty sort of uh, platitudes or empty sort of uh, comfort from no, because your your kin's your kin's bald. Yeah, well, Will's bald. Dad's bald. But that also, I'm saying, it comes as an empty sort of. Uh, uh, empty comfort from someone whose hair's so good. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, don't worry about losing your hair from Mr. Head of Hair. You know what I mean? Like, I can understand. No, I think I think you just got to own it. You just got to be comfortable. All with I'm who saying the fuck you is, are. what the question I want to ask is, and I can we can ask everyone here. Wiramu potentially, I don't know if he's best to answer the question, but where would you prefer to start going bald from? Because I look at John Cena's Devon patch and I'm like, I think I'd prefer the front. So you, so, so would you rather M go the M or the Devon? Yeah, I think I'd go the M, like the Costanza, just the one that everyone can. You know the M, so it's still at the front, but it goes back quite deep. I just would prefer that, like, we're all on equal footing here. You can see it's going. I know it's going. We all know it's going. The Devon patch is something that people almost see and go, "Oh, I didn't know that was there." Yep, my old man's got the Devon now, and he doesn't like me touching it. Well, yeah, like I guess he doesn't. Yeah, I can understand. He's rubbing yeah. his fucking head. But he's like, oh, uh, Devin Patch. Yeah. What do you reckon, uh, Tobes? Because you're getting the M. I think I am. I well, think it's, it's not, receding no from th the front. No, there's no thinking it's, about it's it. It's quite new. And it's a bit of a worry. I saw. Well, since you got the trim, it actually looks like it's going like. But you've been peroxiding your hair for some reason and it's fucking killing it. Yeah, I know. I think that's what's done it. What do you reckon, Will? Do you reckon Topless is disappearing? Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's the bleach, dude. You kind of... You reckon? You've burnt your scalp. <laughs> All from the name of content, eh? Mm. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to grow back, but probably the you know, front. You know it doesn't matter. 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 I know. And, like, I've shaved my head numerous times. I was blessed, luckily, with, like, an okay-shaped head to shave it. It so doesn't I just change take the person the you are, mate. As soon you're as still a good dude. Still a great bloke. Even Thanks, without that, really, that means a lot. And you're still our producer, you know, and we still love you. But he might not be without it. Can't Maybe guarantee your role. Oh no, we're pro bald here. No, we're pro bald, but I just can't guarantee your role, mate. What do you mean? <laughs> Fucking forty percent of our staff of of no more sixty percent. What is it? It's like almost sixty six percent of our staff are bald. Who have we got? Tobler, <laughs> <laughs> Seb, I'm, and I'm we're in both camps. I'm still I'm playing both sides <laughs> here. No, so we're six and uh, three and three. Six three and three. 50%, fifty percent, fifty percent bald. 
Uh, <laughs> we're an inclusive workspace. What about uh, where did you where did it start to go for you, Will? Kind of everywhere on top. Right, it just, it, just it thinned all the way across. Yeah. Where, do you remember the day you you, you realised? Yeah, Henry Wells started calling my hair brown smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did look like it was because you've got a fucking one of the great beards all the time. I've also yeah. I also remember going the last time I went to get a haircut and the guy was trying to he wet my hair while it was there. He kept going to put the comb through it and the hair just kept flopping through the comb. He couldn't <laughs> and he just he said to me, "Dude, I don't know what to do with this." <laughs> oh Jesus! And I just said, "Get it off." Yeah. I wonder if there if if if, uh, if hairdressers have an obligation to be like, "Bro, it's time." You know what I mean? Like whether they should be given like some sort of um, authority to be like, it's time. As well, a hairdresser, a customer, well, I, it's no, I, time. no, I think I think that would come with uh, time in the seat. Yeah, but I'm saying you should be able to say like, dude, I think it's time we fuck this off. I know. I, I I think that you want to be as a as a human being and knowing about just like common courtesy. Some, but you don't want to upset someone. If that's someone's, what, but if I'm someone's, saying if, if someone's feeling vulnerable about it, you don't, you don't want to do that first cut. Maybe that's something you build up to over multiple cuts. Right, but what I'm saying is the same way a doctor has the um, authority oh. to tell you that you have anal herpes. You're right. I think oh, so you're taking the doctor approach. I'm saying like, that like this bedside is, manager. This is be, it's like sorry, dude. I have to tell you, it's time for this to go. So they have ultimate authority. Yeah. How long do you think I've got left? <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask Tom, who's very good at this. Sort no, of thing. but I'm not good at. I'm not good. I'm not good at picking how long you got left. My father, uh, a balding man himself, passed on to me, and I assume Wiramu behind the the ones and twos. There, he just passed on an ability for me to firstly tell when someone has a toupee, or when they've got one of the great rinses of all time. Even though you can pretty much tell a rinse from a mile off, but toupee is usually where my um, well. Toupee, rinse, or someone who is going bald, but I can't necessarily tell you how long it's going to take. But it's going? I don't know if it's going. I don't, it, wanna, it, I don't want to put that on you. It curves over at the front. I tell you, I tell you, it could be a bit deceiving. I'll tell you how you tell. Cowlick. i tell you how you I'm tell. I'm not saying, I'm not prepared to say you Check bald. the tapes. Go back and check what you were like five years ago. It, it, but so back five years ago, could I predict where I'd be now? So I'd, I could... You could tell that I was gonna go grey, potentially not this grey, but here I am, right? If you if you have lost hair over the last five years, then it's not looking good for you. But also, the reality is that like we could, we're all most dudes go bald to some degree, right? Like Ella's old man Tim has gone bald in the years I've known him. So when I met him, he like was in his fifties, and yeah. now he's in his sixties, and he's gone bald in that yeah. time frame. So like we're all probably going bald. There's very few. Shout out to my grandpa Bruce, who still had a th not thick, but still had a pretty good head of hair when the Lord took us him to the shadow realm. Uh, but <laughs> like most people don't, right? But also some do. But some do. Like and so, like obviously Tim's lost his hair, but then. Ella's grandfather still got a fucking great set on, mm. a great head of hair on him. My old man got the Devon patch from fucking hell, but like he's still hanging on up front. But he'll go eventually. I'm if, prepared if the, to go. If the years are good for my old man. If he's a, if he's an eighties, nineties operator, he'll, he'll it'll be gone, and it is what it is. Mm. I'm know? prepared to go. I Mate. see. I, I assume I'm going to go with my family lineage. My, I'm just at the moment. I'm upsetting them both by not going yet. Well, you've been stubborn about they it. They fucking hate me for it as well. Dad is Dad's like furious when I shave my hair. And now that it's slightly not shaved, like it's a little bit longer, he's like, you honour me. Like, thank you for not fucking doing this. <laughs> I'm excited to play with him on Friday. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing with this fucking the hacker. He'll. I think he's excited. He called me yesterday asking about shirt sizes. Well, I've got, I've got, I've got them expressed up, so hopefully they arrive in time. Will they? Not, but do we, do we have sizes? I've said go and get the emergencies if they're there. Send but them even up. some for for Joyride. Well, I got a two XL which we did have a stock of, and three XL which I didn't know. We don't know. Okay, well that'd be. I've nice sent them express to my house. Hopefully, I might go out and just buy some some shirts. Uh, maybe tomorrow or Friday morning. Then just just like team outfits. That's mm. admin shit though. The people at home don't need to care about. Nice dribble. I don't even remember it. Did we have one? Have we not had a dribble? No, we did. What have we been talking it was about? about uh, the rugby league legends game. Oh right, oh, right. Fucking hell, you wig me out for a sec. Tom, Eddie, Tobler, White Mamba. Um, 
boys, just on the uh, the erectile dysfunction chat from last week, um, I work in the, the fresh produce section at Coles, and I don't know if you boys have heard of the, the yellow watermelon, but, you know, it's watermelon, the inside's yellow, not red, not very popular, but apparently it exists. Anyway, I was putting it on the shelf the other day, and an old man, an elderly man, I, I apologise, disrespectful, he come up behind me and he said, mate, you know, that is really good for you. He basically told me it helps get the old cell up. So, look, boys, is this the, was this maybe the first natural erectile dysfunction medication? I don't know, you tell me. But anyway, boys, uh, Dragon's 13 Plus, forever. And, uh, Manly, just manly, never. Right. See you later. I've never heard of a yellow watermelon. Have you ever seen that? Never seen one, but apparently it checks out. What's a yellow watermelon? Inside's yellow. Outside green? Never, ever in my life heard of one. Never seen one. No. Now, question without notice to the room. If this gentleman is correct in saying that, get fucked. I've never seen a yellow watermelon in my life. Did you know that was a thing? No. Tote bag? Is that something, well, that's something you'd find at the fucking... But that's probably the only thing he would know. Like, he's never heard of fucking anything. In yeah, but yeah, you'd, yellow fi- watermelons. you'd find that at the lefty markets, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would, actually. They'd be like, pink watermelons, they're, to- they're, they're problematic. Um, <laughs> I... I if you if you were to go and get a yellow watermelon and to try and test whether it's boner ready, you'd need to have a problem getting boners to really know, right? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, well, you will have you will have needed to have gone a significant amount of time without getting them. That's what I mean. So and we then can't, and then and then you've eaten it. We can't go and road test the boner the boner sort of capabilities of this thing because it's like unless you do have a problem that with them, I don't, I don't, I don't profess to know. Luckily enough, I don't. Praise be. Praise uh, be to Allah. Yeah. Uh, but if I, but harking back to the theory of everything last Thursday, if I had if I had boner issues and I couldn't, there wasn't like a medicinal answer, I'd try absolutely everything. Yeah, well, I would just fix you, But like, I'm just saying we don't, I'd love to be able to road test the efficacy of yellow watermelons that I didn't know existed to get me erections. But, but would I, they make you harder potentially? <laughs> Like, give you a super hard on? Don't need it, bruh. <laughs> I was, don't know. So it acts really as like arrogant. a natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really. And then, you know what? That was that was uh, really dismissive of people's lived experience with flaccid penises. <laughs> and you should be way more considerate of people who are. are flaccid. Uh, yeah, well, who are. Who boner, are soft. Who are boner. Not, what is it? Boner poor? You know what I mean? Boner deficits. Um, erection adverse erection ad- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah i like that erection adverse yeah great point i did not know i was today years old when I realized <laughs> oh he's back <laughs> again the uh, yellow watermelon as well today <laughs> is old dude today's years today's yeah. years old anyway keep going a lot of seeds in that fucking Tom, top water. Eddie, That's fucked up. Yeah, but you want seeds. How you doing? Nah. Um, seeds for seeds. Just quickly. Nah, how many seeds? No, seeds. Just, your own seeds. We all know Eddie's done a lot for his town of Dubbo by shouting out the resto bar. And, you know, he's even made it to the paper with his quotes about this great establishment. And I just think, you know, Tom, you could be doing a little bit more for the great town of Barrel. That's a great point. Um, and, could you know, more. I don't know if you've ever been there, but the Chinese <laughs> in Barrel... Shanghai, fucking Chinese, top tier shit. I'm talking top tier shit. You really need to get yourself there if you haven't been. And Tom, you need to lift your game. You need to be doing more for your hometown. I'm just saying, you fucking, you've dropped the ball a little bit, mate. Eddie's really outdone you there. Mm. Anyway, see us. No, listen, that's probably true. Ironically enough, I was just discussing about how wet the oldies got for tulip time in the Southern Highlands would employ you to get down to Corbett Gardens and go and fap down um, to a couple of tulips. If you are over the age of about 55, 60, Mm. you're going to enjoy yourself, get a bus down, stay. In terms of the restaurant game in Barrel, I don't know what's still there. The 
The benefit Edward has, young dribbler, is that his family is still based in Dubbo. My family no longer based there, so I don't get to go down there as much, although I do have designs on one day returning. Um, like a soldier who left for war and comes back, they all thought he was dead. Again, barrel cinema. Or like Castaway. Or like Castaway. But that's a little etch. Although so is war. I was going to say, uh, yeah, but Castaway. Edge? Well, yeah, but Castaway, you go, he goes away, and then his fucking wife Helen Hunt finds a new guy, and he comes back, and he's like, ah, oh, shit, and she's like, oh, sorry, I'm fucking someone else. That'd be a big pill to swallow. That would be it? a huge shaft to swallow, dude. I've just been sitting there fucking. And all and all you get and all you get. I mean, they try to make out like it was romantic, but all you get's a kiss in the rain, while she goes back upstairs and shoves the new bloke's willy in him. Is that too much? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's enough. That's enough. But you're right. That is all that happens for poor old Tom Hanks. And then he fucks off and goes and, like, returns some package to someone in the Midwest. But then he does see someone at a crossroads. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I'd be upset. I'd be furious. Um, but Barrel does, for, from memory, right? I, again, I haven't done enough. I haven't spent enough time. Like, I go back there, I go down to Street's place every once in a while, go down there for a phone day. Last time I was down there, maybe it was Streety's wedding. I need to fucking get around the town a bit more and sort of reacquaint myself. Gumnut Patisserie, you want to fucking get your dick hard? Gumnut Patisserie. It's on the corner. Um, Further up? It's near Springer's Arcade. About halfway up? From where? Which direction? I mean, it's very vague, buddy. Springer's Arcade. Halfway up the hill. Go Springer's Arcade and walk down towards... Uh, Mittigong And then On the corner Always pumping On the corner Always pumping Across the road From the train station Yes it is But it's not exactly It's actually more Across the road From this plaza Is Yannick still there Will do we know that Oh it was there When I was last Yannick Is it on the main street Yeah it's on the main street Yeah so the train station Is not on the main street It's on Bong Bong Street Bong Bong Road Um, Or is it Bong Bong Street Bong Bong Street Um, Just near the cinema no, it's not. Tobler doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, on the maps. Shot yeah, but it's not. The cinema's further down. Um, it's a small street, so you can't say it's near the cinema. There's many things around there. There used to be an ANZ there. It was across the road from the ANZ. It was also across the road from the Vietnamese baker. Great bread rolls. Listen, dude, I've been back there What's for What's with ages. the Vietnamese and bread? Yeah, see, that's the real question. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> What is with the Vietnamese and bread? I don't know, dude. They're elite at it. Like, I didn't know they were bakers by trade. No, neither did I. I, uh, I thought they were... Like, I know they do, like, the best banh mi ever, obviously, because that's a Vietnamese dish. Dish is a banh mi. But I think we can all agree that the Vietnamese bread, specifically the roll, the roll. is fucking undefeated. I was introduced to bread rolls... The th via Vietnamese culture. The Vietnamese taught a young Tom Birmingham in Barrel about bread. We're very lucky in this country, in my opinion, given our uh, geographic location relative to the Asian nations, who all of which produce fine tucker. Oh, fuck yeah, they do. Fine, fine tucker. I tell tucker. you who doesn't, and I don't know if this is entirely true, I'm sure there's exceptions to the rule, and you could argue the same with us, but like, what is, does New Zealand bring anything culinary to the table? <laughs> what do we bring? That's why I'm saying we don't either. They've got the pav. Mm, it's true. Do we have the meat pies at us? I don't think so. Fuck. I don't think I we think are. that's English. Well, I almost think now that I say that, because I'm also a Kiwi and I'm now defending us. No, we, we have the pav, but I don't know if Australia does. Do we also have the hungi? Is that is that Kiwi? Hungi is Kiwi. Hungy's Māori. Māori, yeah, but that's Kiwi. Like, we're all fucking Ooh, one nation know. under God, right? <laughs> yep. But in Australia, I'm not so sure what we got. It's, I still started off as an attack on New Zealand. Now I'm on the other side. Roast lamb is like Australia's national get dish. Out. Roast, get out. Roast lamb. Get considered. Out. Just get out. It's a fucking, mm, it's an animal. Yeah. That Jesus listen, called. listen. Do you know what it takes to make a pavlova? Like, that's there's something to it. Get out. Wait, what out? No, dude, Chicken. Chicken's Australian, dude. <laughs> no, yeah, chicken. Oi, uh, chicken <laughs> in the oven. Hey, chicken. Chicken you in the oven. Chicken in the oven. Oi, let's cook chicken yeah, this time. Cook chicken. Cook chicken. Cook chicken's Australian. Australian. Uh, <laughs> chicken used to be like yeah. sashimi. Yeah, lamb. Native, the native Australian cuisine of lamb. Yeah, no one ate cooked chicken until Australia decided to cook it. Uh, they were back in the salmonella days. Anyway, how, anyway. Do, how do we get here? Have we got one more? 
Yeah, we've got a couple. If you okay, want. let's go a couple more. We'll go a couple more. The Dribbler Hotline, punters and dribblers, is in our bio if you hey feel boy. like calling. Dapto Dogs Dribbler. Just listen to the latest potty when uh, Tom remembers suddenly of the stalker story. Made me remember suddenly of my own. Grew up on the South Coast, moved to the Gold Coast to get away from Crazy X. Living on the Gold Coast, six months, happy times. One day, go check the letterbox. Hmm, addressed to me. No stamp. That's weird. Open it up. No letter. One single Polaroid picture. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Picture of dude, cock in hand, X, on knees, face covered in cum. Hmm, gross. Closer inspection, that's my fucking mum's kitchen. Holy fuck. Yeah, that happened. All right, see you, boys. Sharks forever, peptides forever. Uh, I'm confused. Can you start that again? Because I wasn't listening. That if, I got a, I got uh, a message. Uh, uh, I got a message. Uh, but I but I know a face come shot come shot. But yeah, that was if that is, just play it. Hey boys, Dapto Dogs Dribbler. Just listen to the latest potty when uh, Tom remembers suddenly of the stalker story. Made me remember suddenly of my own. Grew up on the south coast, moved to the Gold Coast to get away from Crazy X. Living on the Gold Coast, six months, happy times. One day, go check the letterbox. Hmm, addressed to me, no stamp. That's weird. Open it up. No letter, one single Polaroid picture. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Picture of dude, cock in hand, X, on knees, face covered in cum. Hmm, gross. Closer inspection, that's my fucking mum's kitchen. Holy fuck. Yeah, that happened. So, All right, is, see you boys. So, this is what happened. Is this what happened. Man? So, no, 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 no. Oh, not necessarily. What's the mum's kitchen's relevance then? So when he was with her, some bloke might have gone over and. So. Uh, so, so that's an assumption. That's that's an assumption. I'm trying to work out whether he is saying that his old boy got it on with his missus, or whether no, she no, took no, some no, guy no, into no, his no, mum's no, house. No, 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 no. I think that that photo was taken during their relationship, and that she was obviously staying at his. He might have been living with his mum and. And what, she's gone over there with another guy yeah. and got a photo, or is it that she's broken into the mum's house and got it? There's three There's three potentials. They're all fucked up. They're all fucked. They're all completely fucked But there's like, what up. one's particularly fucked. Well, the daddy one. The is. old man one. But he, didn't, he kind of left it open-ended, which I don't like. I Like, what is the implication there? Does he not realise that we don't understand or that, like, there's more to it? Well, you need to call he, back, does he, does he Call think, back. Does he think it's more obvious than he... Is his number there? Yeah. Call him. So Other Cody's things. first thought was that it was during the relationship. I thought he's moved away to get away from her, and then maybe the mum's moved out of the house, and she's, like, maybe moved in or, mm, like... I didn't know. That was, that's... That maybe she's gone and, like, signed a lease. And no, it's... Got a, she's got no, a job that pays. And then I, there's... Yeah, but if if the, he pointed out the stalker part, so I reckon she's followed found a him, way to get found in. a way to get in, and then taken the photo of the new guy. Like here, look, let's fuck you. let's I'm sneak now in and new guy. But if you're the new guy, like, hey, what are we doing? We're sneaking into your ex boyfriend's house, so I can fucking maybe she she said we're just gonna sneak into this house and get it on. Hey, Too confusing. Dapto Dogs Dribbler, we've got you on the line. Now, listen, dude, we, we just heard you dribble. It's obviously fucking disturbing in the extreme. But we just want to try and work out. We had questions, right? Now, yeah. <laughs> from, from, so from, did I. Yeah, well, yeah, but like, so. Let from, him know where we're at. I'll let, yeah, I'm going to set the scene for right. you. So, obviously, you've you've got a photo, a Polaroid from your ex-missus. She's on yes. the floor of your mum's kitchen with a penis in hand and a load on the mush. We're trying That's to work it. out the inference here. What are we to understand? Is this... And forgive us for going down this path, but we're just trying to work out whose penis this is. Is this your old man's? Is this a new boyfriend? Is this someone while you oh, were together? I, even, I, I have no idea. I tried to work it out for a while. 
I'm, I wish he didn't say old man. You know, that's <laughs> in the head. I, we, we sort of thought that's what you were implying. We were like, oh, I, fuck. No, my inference was that, holy shit, this bitch has broken into my mum's house to do this. See, right. we also we also entertain that as well. We, but we thought we thought it might have happened when you were together. God forbid. I know no, that's unfortunate no, thing about. No, but Tommy no. Tobler uh, actually thought that he that your ex might have rented the uh, house, rented the house, house after your mum moved out. Is that not the case? I assume. No, no, mum still lives there. Yeah, yeah. Mom's so still lives Tobler's. There. Can I use that no, word? Yeah, well, <laughs> well basically, I mean, the subject matter is already pretty fucked up. Uh, yeah, Tobler, Tobler, incorrect there. Um, no, it was it was definitely a, an unknown uh, appendage. Okay, and well, that also asks some more questions. So, so, yeah, so got the pretty, we, snuck in. We got a pretty clear idea on what Dad's rocking. <laughs> wow! <Well>, uh, <laughs> if genetics is anything to go by, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the thing is, have you had any more contact with her since? Never. I so didn't she- have contact. When I got the photo, it was just the photo. That's what, it. Can you can you describe the photo a little bit more? So, <laughs> so, so the guy, so the guy's taking the picture. Yep. Okay. On a so pole. He's right. looking down. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Artsy. it's his head. He's holding it. Yep. And he's erect. She's just on the ground looking up at said camera with a uh, nut trucked all over the face. And is <laughs> is like how did that? What what's the immediate response? Uh, first it was, ooh, then it was, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And, now and then I took it upstairs. I was living with a bunch of boys, took it upstairs. Hey, boys, check out this. They're like, we don't want to see your cock. I'm like, no, no, this no, is not, not me. This, this, yeah. So where do you, so wh- do, where have you got the photo framed now? Like, where is it next to the <laughs> I was actually thinking about it after I, uh, I have no idea where it is. I'm sure it's probably floating around somewhere. Yeah, you don't. You don't let someone. You didn't. Go. You didn't throw it out. No, I don't think so. No, well, you probably. That. I don't know. It, it it could be in a box of trinkets. Yeah, that's something your kid stumbles on in fucking when you're fifty, <laughs> and they go, "What the fuck is this, Dad?" And you're like, "Oh no." I'll tell you, that must have been Grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have burnt this. Uh, Dapto Dribbler, thank you very much, dude. We appreciate you coming. No worries, we need please. to clear that up. We had to clear that. Up. I had to clear it up. <laughs> so basically, you. no answers. I wish it was cleared up for myself. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no See you, mate. Cheers, boys. Bye. Tom, Eddie, Tobler, um, just listening to the Thursday plot about collectibles and 90s shit. Um, I was a massive basketball nerd in the 90s, collected all the cards, forgot about them. Then when I was moving house, uh, just before COVID, found them all, chucked them on eBay, thousands started pouring in. So if anyone has any of that shit under their beds, NBA cards, Pokemon cards, don't give them to your fucking ungrateful nieces and nephews and all your kids and all that shit to just fuck them up. Do a bit of research, chuck them on eBay. There's coins to be made, I promise you. Same goes with like the old Nintendo games. If you've got that shit in like the original boxes, mate, you're killing it. Just a bit of heads up advice, boys. Love your work. Uru. You got some tars at home? Huh? Yeah, I do. They're not in great condition, though. Oh, really? Nah. There's a couple in good condition. I've still got the old book, the old green book, if people remember that. I've got, and used to back then come with the sheets, right? So like it was like one through maybe 100 or 200 or something. And so you try to fill in the sheets that sat behind the, the clear. Um, oh, so that was so like a clear sheet. matching it up with There's what? a clear sheet and then behind it would be like a piece of paper that you'd match the Tarzo to. I've, I think I have every single Dragon Ball Z Tarzo though. I'd have to check. Surely that might be worth something. I, but you, they've got to be in mint. That's the problem. I can't understand how anyone gives a fuck to the point where, like, it has that it's much just value. Scar- it's just scarcity. Right, but, like, you know. People, mate, men love connect- collecting shit. I I've always well, loved collecting I shit. I just say men, you sexist pig. It's also women. You sexist pig. Statistically, men like Tarzan. Statistically, Sorry. you're a sexist pig. <laughs> Um, is that us or is there any, what's the, what's the, is there anything else that you should be listening to? Is there like a final last hurrah? Is there a or, final boss shout out of the rock? No, uh, we've got a couple more, but. Well, is there any one that you. Not particularly. Not a nah. big smacky ending. Nah. I now don't know whether he's even listening. Fuck it. Fuck it. Love you all. See you later. Bye-bye. Love you, bye. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>